Bostonian is Matt Peralt. This is our f- city. The book is Dave Sherapan. Pay him. Pay that man his money. Together, they are the Bostonian versus the book. You covered. You covered. Well, I covered. Follow the show on Twitter at Boston versus the book. How do you like them, Matt? Bringing you the best insight on sports betting news, Matt and Dave's daily picks, and an entertaining and unfiltered dive into the sports betting industry. Here's Dave Sherapan and Matt Peralt. And here we go. Happy Wednesday, everybody. What's up? Welcome into another episode of the Bostonian versus the book. Dave Sherapan, Matt Peralt. We are live on our YouTube channel as we are each and every day at Boston versus the book. Twitter X as well. Same handle at Boston versus the book. Replayed Sirius XM channel 159 and on sports grid television where today, Dave, we have a ton of college basketball going on during the show after the show later tonight. How are you on this? It feels like a Thursday. I keep wanting to say Thursday, but it's a Wednesday. Spring break's got me all messed up. How are you, sir? Messed up. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. I don't know nothing. I went to sleep last night right after sports grid. Ooh. Me on 12 hours of sleep. Uh-oh. Look out. I was 12 up early. hours. I was making moves. I was meeting guys about a thing and this and that. I even showed up at your door unannounced, you dropped a little bit of something for you. People don't know. We're working. We're making moves. We're doing things. A lot of college <laughs> basketball. No question. So here's the deal, guys. If you guys want us to talk about a game that is not on the rundown, this is what Super Chats are available for, right? If you're on YouTube, there's a little button on the bottom left-hand corner. Go ahead and hit that. It's over there. We will get to it during bonus time. There are thousands, it feels like, college basketball games and markets to bet into. We're not going to get to all of them, but if you have a specific game you want us to talk about, that's where Super Chats are available towards the end of the show. If you have to do it, drop it, and leave, come back. It's there, obviously, on YouTube, Twitter, on audio podcasts. You can go and get it wherever you need to get it after the fact if you can't stay till the end of the show. You drop the hat off. We're getting real close. We got people. Zach O'Shea's coming. People Zach O'Shea, coming. we get a text to the text line. I just bought plane tickets. I'm bringing my dad. I'm coming for the show. What? He didn't even say where he's coming from. I got his area code, though, because it's in the text line, 702-570-8255, 702-570-TALK. Just send it right there. Look, there it is. Don't call it because ain't nobody answer. Every night on Sports Grid at 1008, the phone rings. Hello? <laughs> I don't answer it. Hello? Like, what's really annoying, though, is how we have this set up. I'm not going to explain how we have it set up, but how we have it set up is that the voicemail you guys are leaving is going to my personal voicemail box. <laughs> you didn't have to tell them. It's fine. I don't care. We're just I, compiling I, all these I, things. I just, I just delete it. It doesn't matter, but it's just funny. Like, you have a call from Bob. <laughs> I'm like, like, it's really funny. It's Bob. I'm just, I'm just laughing. I'm like, I'm like, okay. I was like, uh, sure. I'm like, who? I would love to know. I, I need to call it because I want to know which voicemail they're getting. Either my voicemail, like I have one of those like generic voicemails on my cell phone. Oh. So like, are they getting that or are they getting a different one? But yes, that's the text line. <laughs> text line 702-570-8255. Ain't nobody answering. Wrong number if you call, but text the number. And you get, we got, I saw Myron sent a text, John Dabalina, Mr. John Dabalina sent a text. He's getting a hat. Like we're, we're trying to get the information, send your text, your name and your address. So we at least have it ready to go when the hats go ready to go. I saw my guy this morning, picked up a bag. The first batch of resorts world hats you did. are done. We got this model here. This is the white. This is like for the road games. I like or I like the white. Go back. This is clean. This yeah. is clean. Yeah. Like the I, kids say. Dave said, we got what the, do you want? I grabbed that one. I like the we white We got the lot. whole. Well, yeah, P-Rod got his choice. So yeah. you guys will have a choice. You can pick whatever one you like. I'll have these on also during the show. But we got to move merch. We got things happening. People don't believe it. F-E-A. <laughs> That's going to be the, maybe the first <laughs> T-shirt of where Why is it? Emerson catching strays. Sonic. <laughs> Have nothing 
gonna do with E? E is taking care right now. E, yeah. God bless him. There's so yeah. many things we got to talk about with sports, but like, listen, you never know what people are going through. E's going through it right now. He really He's is. going through it. He's down in Florida. His mom is is sick and his dad has been taking care of his mom his dad's tired and he's down there doing what a good son would do god bless e you know we love you mm. the brigade loves you mm. we're thinking of you um but in addition to all this basketball piro like you know there's still hockey going on there's still i mean the nba kind of takes a back seat in my opinion this week and next week to the college well the major news is baseball oh well I mean, the major That's, news is Garrett Cole's out one to two months, right? I mean, Not major news for the the morning. That's as 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 the basketball comes to the end. Now, what we've talked about on this show, and we talk about in sports books in life, right? Mm -hmm. You give the odds makers and the books all the information that they got right now. You see these numbers. You, they're they, kicking really my hard. they're kicking my teeth down my throat. I'm going to be is, absolutely annihilated. It's this unbelievable. Is, this, this is really, really hard. So, but this is all coming to an end. The crescendo is actually, there's more games today and tomorrow yep. than there are next week on Thursday and Friday. But we're doing the show live. We'll be at Resorts World. You guys got to come by. If you come by, it will be a fun place to hang out. The admission is free. There'll be drink specials. I still don't know what this beer tower is going to be. Hoop thing. I don't know. There'll Me. be a papa shot for you shooters. You want to take shots there. There'll be everything going on. But... The hockey, we also have the most information, and there's been some games, and we'll get to that a little bit later. The the end of of basketball is coming, mm -hmm. but the spring college is not here. NBA. NBA is yeah, a couple months but left. The spring is here. Yep, and the baseball news is real. We talked about it a couple days ago with the Yankees. This is this is bad news, people. I mean, look, I think it's expected news when you have a pitcher saying he has discomfort in an elbow that he won the Cy Young with last year. I just think usage, this is just kind of par for the course right now. I mean, this is what pitchers are going through. And does he need Tommy John? I guess we'll find out in a month or two. But he's gone for April. He's gone for probably May. And maybe he's gone for the year. I mean, that's not out of the question here that Garrett Cole will need surgery to repair this. And he could be gone for a very long time. We'll see if the Yankees are going to make a move here. We still have Blake Snell on the market. We still have Jordan Montgomery on the market. There are pitchers to come and store up any rotation if you want to spend the money. But this is music to Scott Boris's ears. This is exactly what he wanted to have happen. Not that he wants someone to get hurt, but he has a team that's in desperate need of an ace. And he's got two really good, I mean, I don't know what you call Blake Snell. He won the Cy Young last year. But, I mean, people say, oh, he only throws for five innings, so he's on an ace. I don't know. In baseball today, five innings of, of you know one-run ball makes you an ace. So, yeah, I think the Yankees will be in the be in the market for a pitcher. He's a horse. I mean, he is he is one of the horses in the game. He gives you thirty plus starts. You can count on him to get the ball every five days, to give you a usually a quality start almost every time out. This is a big uh oh. Lost. Yeah, this is a big uh oh. Um, do you find it odd that like it's March thirteenth? Mm -hmm. This. This uh, international series starts with the Padres and Dodgers in like 10 days. Yeah. The, the season's coming up quick. Oh, and no. these guys, I mean, big pitchers, aren't signed yet. So I'll update you this. I am going to Wrigley Field on Friday. I'm going. So I I, I, I am this going. This new P. Ralt <laughs> back in the, in the ring now. This is you working. And I ain't talking about the hard 30, which we'll get to. I'm done. Today, I, yesterday, I, I'm done. I, I, we, we're going to have to update the people on that, too, because yeah. I was thinking of you yesterday, walking back, and I was going to send <laughs> I you a text. I kicked my ass yesterday. How you Ooh. doing? <laughs> I kicked my ass yesterday. I, I ended with a bang. I'm My legs are sore today. But it was her idea. It wasn't even my idea. Hold on. There, 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 you, you missed judge two two sentences there you said you ended with a bang and it was her idea <laughs> no i mean the game two sorry the game just, idea was her idea listen if you're I watching to to i can't wait to meet her i wanted to go all. to hockey i didn't want i i wanted to go to hockey it's funny because she she gets the show she watches the show she gets the show yeah. so she sends things like she said how many hats does dave have poll question for you for, for the brigade how many hats does dave over. have <laughs> i know it's I over i was like We've already I tried that. I don't even know. It, it doesn't work. It's too I many. got five days to figure it out. I got told, you know, Jess and the girls are down in Florida. Thank you, CBW, for the update. Right. They Felician split the doubleheader today. 
they had a big team a team only meeting uh, uh -oh, i heard about i was on the phone with uh, my oldest yesterday I, I i still feel like part of the team a little bit when I'm she sure, needs to vent but they had yeah. a big players only meeting it was great information um so they split a double header that's good but they're all down there mm -hmm. i got five days i'm on the clock get your hats in order correct you yeah. are a mess you need to get the hats organized oh that was from jessica oh, oh that's from the oh, boss that's okay. that that you uh, but I said, you okay. know see yep. you, you made okay. that noise you know <laughs> oh. she runs the house yeah tight ship yep get sorry will get your shit in order is what she said you got five days I said, but we got the big show at Resorts World. That's all we're doing. That's all we're talking about. We got to get these forms filed. We got people. We got to wait for the cash. We got to We got to get organized. We got E on the hook. We're going to go do a walkthrough. How do you know where you follow me on Instagram? JC from KC. This is, I've been talking about this on Instagram for the last like a week. I found an, an unbelievable drink that I'm going to, I have not had an alcoholic beverage in over 40 days. So I'm going to have my first I found a, a recipe for an espresso old fashioned that I'm going to make for myself. Yeah, it looks phenomenal. I cannot wait to make it. I was like, that's the drink I'm breaking my my alcohol fast with. And so I found it last night. I put it on Instagram. So it was really fun. But no, so we, we were speaking of JC from Casey. He just yeah. questioned whether I was wearing pants. Because right I mean, they, I think people feel that way. Yes. No, I I, I am I, wearing pants right now. I'm with you, though. I mean, everyone's saying you're going to freeze at Wrigley. Like th this was not even like. I, I was saying no to this. And then it turned into, well, I've always wanted to go to Wrigley. It's a bucket list thing. And I was yeah. like, well, I land at 10 a.m. You land at 930 in the morning. Yeah. And so I've got, if you're daily juice people, you know, the names TJ and Cecilia. They're the people in Chicago. They live in Chicago land, but they're the people who we did the cookie fundraiser with. We raised $5,000 and $10,000 selling cookies with a daily juice for the Ron McDonald house. And so they caught wind to me coming to town and they said, Hey, you need tickets for the Blackhawks. I'm like, yeah, they're like, we got you. I I I'm taking care of you. I was like, come on. He's like, no, we got you. He's like, tickets are on me. It's like, Oh my goodness. People are like, really? So then we're having the conversation. And I'm like, Hey, how hard are cub tickets? And he's like, my wife is a diehard cub fan. I'm like, really? And she's like, yeah, she would love to go to a game with you. Like, what game are you thinking about? I was like, Friday. She, he's like, Friday, it's a 120 start. I was like, yeah, it's Otani. It's the Dodgers. I can't get tickets, right? He's like, actually, the Cubs are going to suck this year. There's not a lot of interest. I can get four tickets pretty easily. I was like, all right, if you're buying tickets to the Blackhawks, I'm buying the tickets to the game. And so I said to her, I was like, do you want to go? And she's like, 100%. She's like, we're going. I was like, okay, I'm going to, I, I, I have a, yes, Sweet Seas Bakery. Wicker. Yeah, yes, that's who they, that's Cecilia. And TJ run Sweet Seas Bakery. And I mean, they gave for two straight years, they turned over their entire operation to raise money for, you know, they didn't make a single dollar off of it. It was incredible. Hours upon hours they spent baking these cookies and mailing them out around the country. So to meet them, super special for me. To go to a game with them, <laughs> I'm going Friday night Cubs, Saturday Blackhawks. Like, Jessica, what? <laughs> if you're watching the show, which I know you're not, I might be going to Chicago. <laughs> For B Roll's birthday weekend. I'm just saying. I, I'm just saying. More the merrier. Sounds like fun, but I don't want to be the third wheel, and she I ain't mean, gonna come because she's on vacation now, so right. I can't bring her. But well, I ain't never been to Wrigley Field too. It's on my bucket list of things to do. That's a good thing. Oh, Tani um, and Bedard. So, the are good you Friday Saturday? Um, are, so this is Friday, Cubs game. Yeah. Saturday day, uh, Blackhawks game. Day day. So are we still going on the boat looking at the building? Sunday. Thing? Sunday. <laughs> that, that's Sunday. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. Yeah. This is going to be hard to live up to. Like if you're going to tell her you're going to In and Out Burger, <laughs> like at some point, like for no, a snack. Good. Like we this is going to be this is going to be one of them weekends that we're going to talk about for a long, long that's time. That's what she said. <laughs> she she said that. This is she's this like, what this she is said. Epic. That's this what the epic kids weekend. said. This is an epic weekend. She's like, I, is, I was like, because I don't know how this is going to go. I mean, she doesn't live here, obviously, in Vegas. So who who knows? But like, she comes. She's coming here in May. I'm going to go there in June. Like, it's oh, just who know who the hell knows what's going to happen, but. 
it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun weekend. Yeah, nothing like Lake Michigan in March. I get Covey, I, me and you both, and I've been making these jokes. I'm going to be freezing my ass off. Maybe Mother Nature will smile down and give me a 55 degree day. But you know what? It could happen. What we could get a rain out. Well, that's okay. I mean, that's no, happens. not for the baseball game. It's oh. a lock. The baseball game will be fine. It, it's okay. probably going to be windy. We'll probably bet the over that day. <laughs> we'll probably bet the over. The wind blowing out, hopefully out, not in. Because when it's blowing in, it's miserable. And you see another at least it's a day, one game. At least it's a day game, though. It's not, it's yeah. not a night game. Yeah. It's a day game yeah. at Wrigley, which I have not done, actually. I've never seen okay. a day game at Wrigley. I've only, yeah. I could get a snow out. Yeah, it's possible. There's it's no possible. But, but what I'm thinking is that the Saturday weather will probably be miserable. Canceling. The boat crews that's looking Sunday. at the building. That's Sunday. Oh. Saturday hockey. Okay, indoors. so yeah. So I'm going to say right now, of the three activities, you ain't completing the three-game parlay. I'm going to guess Sunday is going to be a, My a biggest fear is the flights on. in bed. That's, well, my, that's what I'm thinking. Right. My, my biggest <laughs> fear is the flights because she's coming you from the East Coast. To, you flying to O'Hare? No. Midway. midway. Yeah. Had a boy. Okay. Flying to Midway. Good. And – so that's my only thing is like Southwest normally is pretty good to being on time. She's flying Southwest. I'm flying Southwest both in the midway. You'll be so fine. I, I, I hope that's my, cause we only have a, we, I can be delayed, but I can't be like massively delayed. And if I get no. massively delayed, then it's dead. Friday's dead. So no. I, I think the game on Friday has the biggest potential for being a, a washout because of, of flight problems. Right. More than more than great. Cause going to a game on the same day you travel is always dicey. Like that's always a little bit. Eh. Did you just ask the question in the chat about the hats? Uh, the hats for the the show that I got done, they're all snapbacks. So these these are uh, snaps. Um, you can see those there. But like the hat I'm wearing here is a fitted. If you want a fitted hat, I got to check the uh, the inventory. But if you want one of these fitted, you got to text that number with your name, your address, and your fitted hat yeah. size. I'll see what I can get done that way. Those one might be a little bit more expensive. We'll see what what we're getting planned out in the orders. But. Is this the right? Have you ever, have you ever got done this? The train from down from Midway to downtown Chicago. Have you ever done that? I did that on the way out. Is it worth I, it? Because I've heard it takes an hour plus to get there. The Uber's uh, way faster. Listen, I was in college. I was graduating college. I was twenty two years old. I had nothing but time. Okay, so I don't Didn't remember matter. how long it took, but I know that I. Got the train at Comiskey Park at the White Sox game. It was so easy. They kept my bag. I, I brought my checked out of the hotel. I brought my bag to the game. They checked it. I left. I grabbed my bag, tipped the guy, got on the train, sat on the train. I was at the airport. I don't even know what I where I went. <laughs> it was a steam powered train. <laughs> Wasn't that it wasn't that long ago, Mikey? That's that's complete BS. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, no, I Tommy, I'm I'm already on it. I'm I'm gonna give a full breakdown. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do the Dave Sherapan, go to the book and take a picture at the new book for DraftKings at Wrigley. I'm, I'm gonna see to, what that is. That's go check that out. That's gonna happen, I think, frequently um throughout the next couple months before we have to start signing people up for the brigade proxy service it's and we have to be here. 250 takes 30 Jimmy minutes. Jack. This That's, is why we got people all whoa. over the country. They can help us. We got people on the ground giving us that information. That's oh, I'm, all, I'm all over that. Well, 30 minutes. Yes, because obviously the traffic is the biggest concern, right? I mean, the, the train in traffic is always a huge concern. So Definitely. Okay. The train staying... don't get stuck in traffic. The train keeps rolling, just like this show. DVB, <laughs> we're trained. Whoop, whoop, keep them going. Mike, well, awesome. Daily Juice too. tape from the Wrigley Sportsbook. There's actually a different book that we might be doing the doing the show from. So just FYI on that, there may be some other things we're doing. I, we're, we're talking to a lot of people. You guys in the Midwest, we absolutely love you. And people are absolutely paying attention because oh. the books there are like, hey, how do we bring Vegas to our book, our establishment? How do we make it fun for the locals? And we know, look, Indiana – Chicago, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Represent. Iowa. You guys are awesome. So, I mean, you guys have done a, an incredible job for us uh, just supporting the show and, and, and being a part of the brigade and, and people are paying attention in the in the Midwest. We've had multiple conversations about bringing the show to the Midwest. So I, I think in 2024, at least once, we should be in, in the Midwest in some part doing the show. Where exactly, I don't know, but at some point, I think we'll be there in 2024. For for sure. 
All right, the league year begins in an hour. Mike Williams has now been cut. Charges are $25 million over the cap. They have cut wide receiver Mike Williams to become cap compliant. Mm. Uh, they had a lot of choices to make on this. Here's the list, Dave, of who on this list would you have cut if you were the Chargers? Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, Keenan Allen, or Mike Williams? You'd, are you, you, you had, me this question? You had to cut one of them. Yeah, that's a pretty easy question. It is. No? I mean, Michael, almost, prices are almost all the same. I don't think it's a question. Sorry, Mike, but you got to go. So you like Mike Williams to be cut? I don't know. Keenan Allen might be. Only reason why Mike Williams got cut is because of the injury to the ACL he suffered in September. Right, he's hurt. Yeah, he's always hurt. That's his. <laughs> he's always hurt. That's the. Biggest I mean, problem. I'm not cutting Mac or Bosa. I need defensive dogs. Those guys still got it in that division. Like, yeah. Yeah, I can't cut them. I mean, Harbaugh's coming in with a different purpose. Like it, it, it's it's we got to restart everything. So it's, you know, this is a hard business, man. People, there's a young kid waiting to take that spot for half the price or less or whatever, and you got to make hard decisions. So I don't know. Is that, would you have considered one of the defensive guys? No. Mm, um, Maybe Bosa. Maybe. Really? Yeah, but Benny, I'm with you, man, but I don't think so. I mean, I, it would be great, but you're going to pay him $20 million for a guy to come off the ace to come off an ACL injury? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Chiefs, yeah, the Chiefs go, go absolutely. The Chiefs, and, and yes, Ella, they did restructure Mac as well to make sure he could stay as well. So, yeah. you know, Chargers making moves on this. But Mike Williams is going to be a coveted guy. There's no debate. A lot of teams will want to go and get him, depending on how much money he wants and how well the ACL is, is, is healing. We'll see where he winds up going, but there are a lot of teams that need wide receivers. If the if the Jaguars lose Calvin Ridley, he's obviously a target for the Jaguars. The Patriots, I don't think, are getting Calvin Ridley, so we'll see how that goes today, but I don't believe that's going to happen. All right, what happened last night? Uh, big day for the dogs. Wagner, Stony Brook, St. Mary's, UNH, West Virginia, all covered, and that's just a couple of them yes. they covered yesterday. Yes. I mean, look, you, you're a guy – in the book, you're always looking at dog prices. You always lean towards towards the yep. dog. Any advice for people as they approach this coming weekend here, starting with all these conference tournaments? Well, what happens early is the dogs, you know, I think it's dogs early, favorites late. Okay. You start to see how that works. Um, now, there's no universal thing that you can just blankly not, apply yeah. other than like our buddies at uh, SGPN. Sean Green and uh, Kramer, they do this first half under next week, every game, 32 games, Thursday and Friday to bet the first half's under. Well, they weren't the, the first one to do it. In the NCAA tournament. Yeah, in the NCAA tournament. They, okay. they, they do that. that. Now, that's a universal. That's had success. You go 20 and 12, that's pretty good. You make uh -huh. 32 plays, you make you go 20 and 12, that's a good day. Um, this week, these games early were some somewhere on their home courts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know me. Yep, here, Mountain West Conference Tournament. Yep. Yeah, so they start playing tomorrow. I think, well, there's a couple games today. The bad teams play today. Yeah, no, I mean, th this has been my, my problem with where I've been for the last week is that I've been betting these low-level conference tournaments and the bad teams. Like today, this is the final score. I'm, I'm, I've already lost a bet today because I took Central Florida, and they were pretty much even the whole rest of the way. They went down 21-3 to three to start that game. I mean, they they played after that. It was pretty much an even Steven game. But after right. but going down 21-3 in, in the first five minutes, and you Not had good. five of seven three-point shooting come in, this is the same thing that would happen with Creighton when they shot against Nova. Like they, the rest of the game, Nova outplayed Creighton, but they opened up with a 24-3 to run to start the game. You open up with that, you have such a big you know cushion that you tend to let teams back in. But if you're betting on dogs, I bet Nova plus one and a half, that lost. I bet UCF plus six, that lost. It, it, I am very fr I love betting college basketball, but I just right now I am getting crushed with dog or favor. It doesn't really matter. I'm just on the wrong right. side consistently <laughs> with what I'm picking. And like today was like, okay, if I lose today, I'm going to pause and not bet the first because I'm going to bet semifinals and finals. Well, I think now I have talking. more, I have a better idea of how the games are going to go. <laughs> Skip Thursday, skip Friday, and get to Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> I think you got to be super selective. Like, just because the game's on and the game's a championship oh, game, yeah. like, you can believe the hype and you can want to get involved. But I, I much prefer to do it in game right. if I'm not positive that I have a play before the game. I just tell people all the time now you can wait. 
The other point of advice would be you don't have to bet every game. Like there's a lot going on, and these are not like carnival games, but it's really hard and random, and you don't know how the travel was. You don't know what these teams, they had one shoot around in this building. Like there's so many random factors in this. I think these are the hardest games to pick. So, you know, go look at the NBA and 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 and, and take the Pistons against the, the Raptors tonight. Like there's different things that you can do if you're sticking with college basketball. Like NC State plays Syracuse later. Mm-hmm. One and a half. It's a coin what flip. the hell do you do with that game? It's coin flip. So Stuff. We'll, we'll get to the schedule here, but just to, to quickly look back on the West Coast Conference final from last night. Somebody you know, tweeted this, and I'm sorry to steal your line without giving you credit, but it really is true. If you want to be a contrarian gambler, bet St. Mary's tonight. The world is on Gonzaga. Oh, without a doubt. Every single person is yeah. on Gonzaga. Yeah. So you want to go ahead and say, I'm going to go against everybody. You want to be on the side of the sports books? Uh, they're going to need St. Mary's big tonight. Big win. For St. Mary's last night, basically wire to wire. Hold on, what just happened? We was wearing something different, <laughs> and then we're wearing our back. I didn't even know that was coming. It startled the hell out of me. We got I, clips. I put it on the rundown. If you read the rundown, it said I did, but I didn't just insert. <laughs> boom! It said it said video clip. I know, but so it set it up, man. It scared the startled hell out of me. This was the clip portion of the show. You said it yesterday. We talked about it. Yep, that was. How I watched that whole game, quiet, peaceful, mm. nothing. I was going to go, and I was like, nah, I ain't going. Me and the dog, I really thought Gonzaga was coming back, and then St. Mary's answered that, whatever that was, and it was done. Yeah. About, I don't know how much time left, but I was like, nope, St. Mary's winning. That dude for St. Mary's in the middle was a beast. What do you make of them in the dance, St. Mary's? I mean, everyone was on Gonzaga. Gonzaga was the hottest team in the country. Gonzaga just whipped St. Mary's when they played at St. Mary's. And in the West Coast Conference Final, when they were outnumbered like 15 to 1 fan-wise last night, that was all Zags fans. That was a home game for Gonzaga. St. Mary's kept them silent for most of the game, most of the entire game last night. That's so funny because you're right. Like you described it perfectly yesterday. The first time I went to that game, the kids were little. We ended up with Gonzaga Bulldog basketballs, Bulldog hats. It was a Gonzaga party. And they come and they're loud and they're strong. That was a different vibe in that building last night. They 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 had a run and they they were within two or four. And it was it, I think it was like 55, 53, somewhere in that neighborhood. And then mm-hmm. boom, clamps down. I was so impressed with the defense, P Rock. I was so impressed just with the overall game plan, the way that they attacked the rim. I thought that they were really good defensively, but I also thought they had a great game plan. And Gonzaga is a team, look, they've been really hot. I still don't know if I trust them come March. Like I still, everyone's like, Mark Few, they're going to a Sweet sweet 16. They're a Final Four contender. Better to make the Final Four. There's great value in Gonzaga. I'm, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe they just were really hot in conference. And now they get into, you know, they, they, they won a game impressively. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that, that, that first game, uh, the semifinal, they won going away. But they played St. Mary's and they, they lost the biggest game of the year so far. And now, yeah, they're in, but where will they be seated? Very interesting. And everyone's like, nobody wants to play. I said yesterday, like, they're a seven seed. No one wants to play Gonzaga. I don't know now. I, I, I don't know if I believe that statement to be true yet. This has been the Gonzaga party line for a decade they destroy their conference they are number one or number two seed they got the path and they don't win they haven't won they haven't been able to do it and it's really hard to win a championship now they're coming it from a different angle right they're going to be a six or seven seed maybe i mean could they be an eight seed could they be that eight nine matchup or somebody where they're going to be like three point favorites or something maybe Nine, according to CBS Sports. Okay, wow. So eight uh, nine game. No one seed wants to play Gonzaga. I tell you right that's now. That's what I'm saying. No, so no now this is going to be play uh-uh. this is going to be a, a hard yeah. path for whoever gets them if they yeah. win the first round game. If they're an eight or nine and they got to play a one, 
that's going to be must watch television. Eight, that's nine, man, a one seed. Which one seed? I mean, out west, Arizona, Gonzaga in the second round. Right. That would be Yikes. a final four. That would be an elite eight matchup in years past. I might need to bet right? Gonzaga in that situation. Oh. That's what I'm saying. So I think, I think so much will depend on the path and where they get yeah. put. But Oof. these games are, we're educating ourselves every time we watch them play. Now, you can have watched them play all season, but these games are, you see the pressure, you see the, the neutral sites, you see all these things. It's different than it 100%. has been all season. That's why uh, it's so hard to bet. I agree, Steve. The officiating was. Oh, look, Steve Anderson. Look, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to say the refs were trying to give the game oh. to Gonzaga. Man, oh, man. The refs were trying to give the game to Gonzaga. That was unbelievable. <laughs> I couldn't, I mean, th on one exchange, kid grabs the ball. He gets his hand slapped. The mm -hmm. ball falls out. He he reaches, trying to get the ball, and he hits the Gonzaga guy's hands. Foul on St. Mary's. I was like, yeah. how did the ball get loose? The guy slapped his arm to dislodge the basketball. What are we doing? Like, it was, I was not a fan of the way that game was being called yesterday. And I was like, okay, let's talk about conference conspiracy. St. Mary's is in. We know this. Gonzaga needs a better seed because you win more games, you make more money. So let's give Gonzaga a better seed. They win the they win the championship. The Zags get a better seed, yeah. easier game, can go farther in the dance. They make more more shares. I play conspiracy theorist on that <laughs> on how that goes. I'm, more, I'm, put my listening glass I'm far more. I, you know, theory. I'm I'm far more likely to consider conference conspiracy than i am sports book conspiracy mm. conference conspiracy i buy because every team makes a good chunk of change every time a team wins from that conference the conference right. makes money yeah we have so, blew it on oh yeah no have, yes absolutely yeah. why is their, their bracket is set up for gonzaga in st mary's a hundred percent yes Thanks, Jay Dow. that's the worst bracket in all of sports it really is it's just yeah. zagged against Tommy Lloyd, give me the Zags. I can't say you're wrong. I will bet. I mean, I have an Arizona future, and I will bet against Arizona if they play the Zags in the second round. That would be brutal. But then again, I don't know if you're going to give Gonzaga the West bracket. I was going to say, you might send them East. Yeah, they might get sent East. Midwest. We'll see, we'll see where they go. Right. I mean, they, they haven't earned the right to play close to home, put it that way. I, I don't believe that they've earned that, that right to do that. So... All right, a couple of live updates. We can do a little in-game live. Dave and I do this normally on Friday nights uh, on Sports Grid, but we do. Wyoming Fresno State. It's forty to thirty-three at the break. Wyoming's now eight and a half point favorites. Total is one forty-five and a half in that one. I don't know if I would lay the eight and a half with Wyoming. Fresno's not very good though. Wait, there was Four an eleven o'clock game at the Thomas and Mac. Yeah, early, early. There's three games. What is going on tonight at the stadium? There's something going on at the stadium at 7 o'clock p.m. tonight. It said, hey, plan your traffic routes. Because I was going to shoot down to the Thomas and Mac, but right. I ain't going to make it. There ain't no games after 6. So maybe we'll go to the Dollar Loan Center tonight. That'll be that'll be the one. Um, Something's me, going on. Guys, if you're if – you're, you I'll check, tell you. 7 o'clock p.m. tonight at the stadium. Something's going on. I what's, saw the signs while I was what's driving the date? around this morning. Today the is the 13th, the 13th of March. Yeah. Something's going on. Uh, something. Well, I that's interesting because according to this, it's it's a um, I don't know, some type of twice fifth world ready to be type of like, I don't know. There's some, something called twice. Twice. It's a band, I guess. Twice. Yeah, I never heard. That's what she said. Twice. Their, their global run with one more U.S. performance. It's an what? Asian pop band called. It's gonna twice. be packed. K. It's K-pop. But it's for it's not for tonight though. It's for Friday night. Sure. It says March sixteenth. I'm on the Allegiant Stadium schedule oh, right now. Something something said stadium something alternate routes available. I was like, oh no, what's they happening? may have been putting that up just for the future though for the weekend. They may just be like, hey, by the way, be careful. K-pop. What the hell is K-pop? BTS. K-pop. You know what that is. Kids got to tell me. I have no yeah, idea. I don't. Korean pop, K-pop. Okay. So, you know, I don't know. It's it's. So we'll see on that. Oh, uh, Pac-12 is at the T-Mobile tonight. Pac-12 tonight, yeah. Fordham is up by one at halftime on VCU. VCU, a lot of people liked VCU maybe to win the A-10 here. They're three and a half point favorites at the break, but they're down by one. 
You come in on VCU here at one time to bet VCU, probably. Yeah. Laying three and a half. And then yeah. Notre Dame is down 18 and nine to Wake Forest. Big a trouble. 14 and a half point number. That number closed at like 10, right? 11? Nine and a half, 10. Dif- okay. Different books, different places. Nine and a half. Yeah. That was a that was a big number. Uh, yeah, and then good. coming up here uh, right now, USC and Washington's about to tip off. Any Just feel? Dipped. Yep. Any thought USC, on USC? favorite? I mean, that's got to be, you know, USC, right? I don't know. No, I, I guess. I mean, maybe, you know, it's 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 there. You know, it's it's. I don't know. Do the Lakers play today? Is LeBron there? The oh, Lakers are in Sacramento. Yeah, so LeBron's not there. I could go sit uh, in LeBron's seats. Damn it, we got to do the show. Show up and do the show. You gonna sit? You gonna sit in between two owners and have them grab your arm and flirt flirt with you the whole time? <laughs> One of the greatest moments uh, in recent history for me. Is I attended a game at spring training down in Arizona, and I told the girls we got bleacher seats. We sat out in the grass, but I told the girls let's go sit up close. So we walked around. We walked around. I was sniping it out, and I found two seats in the second row, right by the Giants dugout, because the kids were big fans of Buster Posey. Oh. So I sit down in these two seats, or three seats, because I had Kelsey with me too. And um, these people in the in the section were like, "Who is this guy?" Who are these kids? What are they doing here? I had no idea, right? Next thing I know, the owner comes down of the San Francisco Giants and sits in the seats right in front of me. Wow. And they were like looking at me like, who is this? Nobody said a word. We sat there the rest of the game. But people were like texting me, you're on TV. You're sitting with the Giants (laughs) owner. (laughs) I didn't even know who the guy was. So if I show up tonight at the T-Mobile, you know, I'm going to go right down. I'm going to sit down with LeBron, but he ain't there. He's in Sacramento no, tonight. He ain't there. No. Sorry. Unbelievable. He ain't, he ain't there. USC, I think, is the side in that game. Okay. Early uh, on. And then getting under Oklahoma TCU. TCU laying three and a half to Oklahoma. Poor game. Huge steam on TCU this morning. Well, that thing closed four and a half. Five. It's back down to three and a half at FanDuel. Oh, wait. Hit refresh. Nope. I didn't hit refresh. Sorry, back, back down. To three and a half. Okay, yeah, it's back down. But the Porter Moser news definitely will stabilize things because he came out and said, "Look, it, I'm not going anywhere. Stop linking me to other jobs. I'm not going to DePaul. I'm not going elsewhere. I'm sticking right where I am here. I'm staying with the Sooner." So, yes, TCU does need a resume builder. I, I would agree with that, DeJuice. Yes, it would be they, they can't lose. Jamie Dixon is cuck. Yeah, yeah, he is. But he's been okay at times. They've won games in the past. Yeah, and then the Big East is Xavier and Butler. That game is a complete coin flip. I I lean towards the over. Big East started tomorrow. No, no, it starts today. One o'clock our time, four o'clock Eastern. Over one fifty-two and a half. All the super bad teams are playing today. What? Providence, Georgia, Villanova. Yes. Is what? Hold on. You don't you never read the rundown. I do read the rundown. Game, I just run, run it on my odd screen. I yes. just I, they're organized like this. Listen, I was out doing stuff Look, at the hat. This is what I wrote in the rundown. 24 and a half. Really? This can't be. <laughs> That's what I said. Really? This con- can't be. In a conference tournament game, 24 and a half <laughs> is a number. What are we doing? Yes, I agree. I, I, looked at, I did the same thing. I looked at it. I was like, wait a minute, what's that number? 24 and a half in a tournament game. Well, wait, whoa. <laughs> That's the biggest man, oh, man. spread I've seen in a long time. That's unbelievable how big that number is. We'll get to that in a second. All right, uh, football here. Patrick Mahomes is going to restructure his contract to free up $21 million in cap space. Reaction? I'm hearing it for the first time on the rundown. Okay. I think it's good. This is what Brady did, right? Yeah, this is what you're supposed to do. This is, this is what you're supposed to do. I can't win without help. Correct. This is exactly what you're supposed to do. Rework it all. They gave $95 million guaranteed to Chris Jones, so they got to find money somewhere. Go get a wide out. This is for him to go get a wide out. This is, he said, hey, I'll give you this money. Go get a wide receiver. So they're going to get a legit wide out for him. I just, I, I would love to be in that position. To give up $21 million? Sure. <laughs> yes. Give up anything to get more help. Like this is yeah. this is what we need right now. This is this is perfect. I love the move. Cubby's right. It. And this is how much Mike Williams is going to cost is $21 million. So, had a boy, could, Mr. Stee. I mean, if he goes, I mean, there's been a lot of really weird things going on, going on in the NFL. Like when we were growing up, not that free agency had people who were somewhat loyal, but I mean, Patrick Queen going to the Steelers. 
<laughs> I mean, this is like a Raven going to the Steelers. Really? Like, that's crazy. Mike Williams going from the Chargers potentially to the Chiefs. Like, Talking Saquon about, Barkley. They do this stuff in other sports. The Red Sox gave guys to the Yankees. I know, but Wade Saquon. Boggs went Saquon, to the Yankees. That was yeah, the first one that I was like. Ray Boggs and Roger Clemens both did that. You've got but he went at least at least to Toronto, went right. to Toronto first, so I could forget about him being in a in a uh Red Sox uniform. Right. Johnny Damon. Johnny Judas. Damon shaved and Judas. went to the Yankees. Judas. Jesus Judas. Saquon Barkley goes from the Giants to the to the Eagles. There's no loyalty. There really isn't. There There's really no isn't. Loyalty. There's none of that stuff. That's like, been the Heinz wildest thing. When at the end of his career was offered to go to the Ravens. Okay. He said no. Right. I can't go. I can't that. stand that. that purple. Yeah. I ain't doing it. My legacy is a Pittsburgh Steeler. I'm leaving it at that. These are choices these guys make. I don't blame them at all. That's fine. He needs help, though. Mahomes needs help. Go get a wide receiver. That's yeah. good. It's it's something else. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be really curious to see how this whole thing plays out with Mahomes and who they get, because if they get a legitimate number one, they're going to be really tough to beat. <laughs> it's like they're going to be. Well, this next thing on a rundown, which I have right up right here like this, they're running, I mean, like the, they sign Russ and then the, the, the number one guy, bye-bye. See you later. He was a what mess last year, though, right? I mean, you, the whole you, thing is a mess. You got to be okay with this, though. Deontay Johnson was a mess. He was talking back, talking badly about Matt Canada. Like he he had to go, right? You can't be upset about this if you're a Steeler fan. You kept George Pickens is the guy. He's the number one. Deontay Johnson's your, you know, he's the talented player who was the squeaky wheel who needed to be traded. Huh. Pickens was the same way, though. I mean, it's Pickens was. I was going to say, this is like, what Wait, are is, we doing here? Uh, that, that's not the Corbin. I thought that that's was the, the Corbin. Corbin. That's the Corbin? I think it is. Might be. Oh, yeah. wow. What's up? This What's guy. up? Stonehands Stone Stone Johnson. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I, I think uh, it, it's it's a good job. Is this the beginning? Is there more leaving? Is there more like like? Well, you have oh. to change things. I mean, you, you're going to bring in Russ. You're going to bring in different receivers. You're going to bring in different weapons, and you're going to run the ball more, as we as you know with Russell Wilson. So, uh, I, I think you got to get out those those problem guys. You have to get out. It is Corbin. Yes, sir. It's me. What's up? Yes, bud? sir. Watching How? the show. How are you? This, this is his artwork right here. I'm gonna put this one on. We're giving me Corbin's coming. Hopefully, Corbin's coming to the live show. Good. This is what this Corbin can. He, he's a he's a magician with these hats, my man. Thank you, sir. That's great. He's watching the show. The That's boys are all cool. watching the show down at the joint. That's great. Uh, and then one more football before we get to the games coming up tonight. There's a lot of them in college. Basketball. How do you think Deontay Johnson's gonna do in Carolina? Not good. Like, be careful what you wish for when you're in certain places. Like Bryce Young, because they can take it just like we find out about all these people in the media and God mm. bless them all. Like they can end your show tomorrow. Boom. Not ours, not ours, but <laughs> they could do that. They could take it from you or they could ship you out to right. bad time. And then you go, nobody watches you. And then all these things happen as a player. This can happen. You go to Carolina, new coach, total disaster. You're still playing the same game, but you're playing way uphill now. It's tough to show up for work when you're going three and fourteen. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. And no real sign of. I mean, they traded their best defensive player for a second and a fifth. I mean, like Carolina's a mess. <laughs> that, that, that that team is an absolute mess. And then finally, and for football, this is real. Aaron Rodgers is being touted as Hold the on. vice president. I got to get the listing glasses on for this because I know this might be the political portion of the show, which we don't do politics it's not on politics the show. It's not politics at all. It's not politics at all. I'm nothing, I don't care about RFK Jr. Okay, What Take in, is this? But RFK Jr. has registered a domain name that mentions Aaron Rodgers and that Aaron Rodgers is being discussed, at least being leaked, as being a potential running mate for RFK. Now, the conspiracy theories that are running around, I tend to agree with. RFK Jr. does not have big money right now. He's a third-party candidate without a lot of money. How do you get attention? You come up with some cockamamie thing like this, like the starting quarterback for the New York Jets is going to be my running mate. 
for the presidency of the United States. Well usage of the word cockamamie. That was outstanding. <laughs> Continue, sir. So that is, I believe that, that this is simply just a stunt that Aaron Rodgers is not actually going to be running for political office, the highest office in the land, while also quarterbacking the New York Jets. <laughs> the football part of me says, sorry, Will, please to fucking God that happens because that would be the greatest story ever. The Jets season will go so fast down the drain. It will be amazing if Aaron Rodgers is playing football on Sunday and on Monday is on some political stuff in Iowa doing something or in Texas or in Florida and he's running for political office. Like, please, someone make this happen because the Jets, this would be the most typical Jet thing ever that he blows his Achilles, doesn't play for a year. In the second year when you're like, okay, we got Aaron, let's go, let's figure it out. Yeah, I'm going to run for president or vice president of the United States. Shouldn't we be focusing on the game plans a little bit? Shouldn't we be focusing on the, the, the OTAs and get a rapport with some receivers? He don't even have a running mate to be a backup quarterback at the Jets. He's going to be the running mate for the president of the United States. What is this? Wetzel hit me with this yesterday, last night on the, on the sports grid. And I said, Scott, what is this? You're joking, right? He's like, oh, no, they're talking about it here. I was like, wow. Okay. Joe Rogan is a surgeon general. Don't put it past him. It's probably true. It's probably what, what RFK Jr. would do. I don't know, man. If I'm Aaron Rodgers, I you can't like there's certain type of publicity and attention that you do not want. This would be one of them if I'm Aaron Rodgers. Like this this goes to show you that Aaron Rodgers is not serious about football a hundred percent anymore. He's got other things going on. That like football is his job. Like if he wins, awesome. Like that's great. It's not the end all be all for him. He wants to do other things. His eyes are elsewhere besides just being the quarterback of the New York Jets. I don't know where his eyes are. This is <laughs> like you want to talk about catnip. I I mean, what if the Jets start out one and four again? Right. What what, what I mean, any place like this is I don't know, man. I guess, yeah, Linus McAfee for press secretary. I'd vote for Pat for president at this point if he was going. I mean, seriously, I don't know. This is insane. What is going on? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. What's the price on the Jets to win the AFC? What's the price on them to not? Right. What's the no? Because no. What's the you no? want to talk about a Brinks truck, LL, we're going to have to. They ain't winning. Sorry, Will. They ain't winning shit. I don't think. I mean, there's got to be a lot of turmoil. Like, what What do you think? What's the owner of the team? Woody the, Johnson. What do you think Woody was going when, when he – like, did he – you think he asked Twitter? You think he got the, the – the, the, No, the but I'm sure somebody called him from the media and said, do you have any reaction hey. to the idea that RFK Jr. might be tabbing Aaron Rodgers as his running mate? Like, like wait. You Hello? Know, my quarterback? Hello? My, 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 my quarterback? quarterback? What? <laughs> like, Who is he's this? Gonna, he's going to be doing what now? He's going to run for what? Um, no. <laughs> the, the, my answer is no. <laughs> I don't know. This is this was one of the most bizarre things. And then, so when he said that to me yesterday, I was like, "This can't be." I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a time warp. I said, "This can't be real." And then I saw it on a rundown today, and I was like, "Man, oh man, this is the New York media. This is oh. the whole bowl." This is everything. This this is they they will in eat New this York up. in New York. This will eat this up. Our quarterback's going to run for office while he's playing. Like the it's it's a joke. It's not happening. But even just the the logistics of the idea of Aaron Rodgers jet setting around the country to political rallies while practicing and playing for the Jets would <laughs> just be like one of the most incredible thing ever. It would be one of the most incredible things to ever to ever happen His eyes in the U.S. Are on sports. A podcast. Smentana might be right. His eyes are on a podcast. So he wants to go be a, he wants to go be Joe Rogan 2.0. Who knows? I don't know. I, I, I it, it don't sound like he wants to be the Jets quarterback. No, that's and that's the takeaway, right? The takeaway is he's got other ideas. He has other angles to pursue. And if I'm a Jet fan, I'm like, come on, man, this is, you know. This is not what we want to be talking about right Listen, now. If you're a Jets fan, 
first of all, you got like really, really like battle scars, like the things <laughs> you've been through, stepped on, pooped on. Yeah, kicked I mean, in the like, nuts. You know, this is the one where you just they don't even pause anymore when they run over to like on the road. Like the truck <laughs> when it backs up, the beep, beep, beep don't even hit you, boom, 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 yeah. and it runs you over. And now you go, can you imagine? Like when they when they got Rogers, like how exciting all this was. Like I think of Yanitsi. I've got to know Tony very well over the past couple of years, and we've had him on the show. He's a Jets fan. He's a Jets fan. He loves this team. He was so excited. He's 27. He ain't seen the Jets other than Sanchez, like get close. He ain't seen him be good in his life. You got Aaron Rodgers. We're going to be there. All the season wins over. We're going to make the playoffs. All this stuff. On the fourth play. Snap. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. All right. It's just, you can't hurt me. You can't hurt me. I'm a Jets fan. You know what I've been through? It's okay. He's going to get strong. He's going to get better. Holy crap. He's rehabbing. He's throwing on the field. He might come back this year. Nobody's ever done that. No, 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 no. Sit, sit tight. Get better. When no one's looking, get better in the offseason. Get strong. We're coming. One more time. New York Jets. Reincarnate Joe Namath. We're going to beat everybody. Now, I may be a running mate for the Vice President of the United States. <laughs> What the <laughs> hell's going on? So weird. Just so, so like weird. Like to say, as weird as the tweet from Skip Bayless yesterday, that was, <laughs> this story is as weird. It really is. <laughs> Do you have Skip's tweet? No, I'm not even. I, I thought about it putting it up, and I'm like, I, I'm not even going to try to get. because can, can you put it up in bonus time? Can you put it up in bonus time? Yeah, I'll put it in bonus time. Okay. Bonus uh, time. Stay uh, for bonus time. That's the part of the show where we go off the air on the replay on Sports Grid and Sirius XM. But you can get it live on the YouTube channel. You can get it on the replay on the YouTube channel, the at symbol, Boston versus the book. Because I saw that tweet yesterday and I wanted to I wanted to reach out and just thank Trista because I wouldn't have seen it if Trista didn't answer. Oh my lord, that was so funny. He's he's left it up, by the way, which I think is somewhat brilliant. Of course it is. Like yeah. it, to, to 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 leave to, to leave it up because it's gotten <laughs> 67 million impressions. Right. Do you think he it's, meant to do it or is this a mistake? Because it's it's almost too perfect that he did it. That's why I think he didn't mean to do it. Okay. That's why, because it's too perfect. <laughs> punctuation is punctuation key, is key Chef the, Benny. Punctuation. Best, you understand it in bonus time when we talk about it. But the best is, thing, the comma of the year, the best he, thing I saw was the star was the uh, was the was a scene from Spider Man where he's holding a uh, a subway car on both sides. It's like that's what the comma's doing. <laughs> the comma's <laughs> holding <laughs> holding it like the comma's doing that doing that work. It was really good. It was it was really pretty oh good. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to that during during bonus okay. time. But, all right, uh, let's go through some tournament games later on tonight. Yep. NC State and Syracuse. Syracuse is laying two here in this CBW's one. CBW's time to shine. This is his time to shine. They're going to win this game. No? I mean, no. you would think, but I like, I like NC State. They're playing better down the stretch. I mean, talking about a team that was 8-12-1 in the conference in ACC play, NC State, 8-12, and ATS, Syracuse. They're two bad teams. Yeah. I got a guy. Maybe maybe he'll send me plays. Uh, our buddy Butchie. Maybe he'll send me something on that one. I don't know. First thought is I like NC State first half. Okay, interesting. Well, they've been Why? good in the first half. Okay, then they stink, caca. And you saw them in half. person. <laughs> they were so good in that first half at North Carolina. Then I saw it the next game. Who they play? They did the same thing. That's when I was there. I literally saw the NC State guys. I feel like they're a good basketball team. They just they need every break to go their way to like actually win multiple games here. Can they win today? Absolutely. Game got to be under. SU beat NC State twice already. CBW, there it is. Syracuse. Sully doesn't like it though. Syracuse is not winning. Syracuse grad here. Put it up for the chat right now. I love Sully. Um, that's good. We need that information. Who wins this game? 
Do you win this game? You don't need no points. Just pick the just pick the winner. Syracuse or NC State? Orange or red? If you were to decide between orange and red, what would you pick? Red. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Orange is orange is I'm, I'm coming from back. Bo- I'm, I'm I was raised Catholic from Boston, so orange is a fighting color. I I mean I don't know. I don't orange is popping. The right orange popping. <laughs> yeah, but that's orange is when you're from Boston and you were raised Catholic. Orange what is does a, religion have to do with it. What are you talking about? You don't know about that. You like if you ever wore or if you wear orange to the St. Patrick's Day parade this week in Boston, they beat the living shit out of you. Really? Yeah. Straight up. Don't like historic. Really. It's like historical stuff. Like it goes back to, to 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 the mainland. It goes back to Northern Ireland. It goes back to Dublin. It goes back to like old ancient school stuff. times. Not ancient times, but like goes back to basically like the nineteen. I think when was Sunday Bloody Sunday? I think like nineteen twenties, nineteen thirties, when that happened. Did you so. post? The, did you post the? the, the oh, sorry. The, I thought they should, they should ju- just put it in there. You said you said. Oh no no no! Put it up. Put it up. Okay. I want to see the votes. I like the votes. The the the, the, the people like the votes. Well, with with the spread or without the no spread? No spread. Just Cuse or 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 Wolfpack or NC State or Syracuse or Cuse or whatever. I like okay. to call them Cuse. Cuse. Syracuse or Cuse. I think I vote. All right. Who yeah. wins? All right. I voted. Protestant with Catholics. If absolutely. you're watching the show live. Watch it. Vote right now. ACC tourney. I'm going on that show with uh, with them back east. They're at they're live at the ACC tourney. I'm going on today after DC? this. Nice. Good. So we got a little BVB they, action. They stopped having that problem where they couldn't talk about the games being played in the arena? <laughs> Not the, sure exactly was, what's going on. That was on. the dumbest rule. <laughs> they're like, hey, by the way, you can't talk about the Wizards. You can't talk about the Capitals. Well, why? Because we're in the same building. What the, does that have to do with anything about be making a pick that you're broadcasting from that arena? Yeah, you just can't talk about it. We we don't mention it. We don't. Okay, that makes no sense. Sure, maybe because the book is gone. Maybe that's why. Don't Fan, know because Fando took over the book, so the the they're out. Interlot or Interbet, whatever the, the company is out. Fando should have never been in. Yeah, Fando taking over. I talked to those people one time. They could have offered me a zillion dollars. I'd have said no. I said, you people, this is a this is an inside job. I don't know how you got this contract, but I can't. You ain't gonna be here for long. Mm-mm. That was bad, 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 bad. Are bad. you comfortable laying seven with Clemson? How'd the BC game go yesterday? They beat Miami by sixteen. Killed Miami. Miami I don't know who's quit. responsible for that Miami Florida number. They just quit straight up. They the Hurricanes favored. just quit. They were favored. They just straight up quit. Like that they'd... was one of those ones that you see and you go, "This can't be. This game, I'm missing something, or this can't be." And it was can't be. Now this one here, this is a good number. This is pause. Okay, I have no idea what to do with this number. So they were favored by ten and a half at home against BC. They won by eleven, and that was the only time they played them this year. Only played them once. BC has covered the last three games. They won at Miami by 10 as five and a half point dogs. They won at Louisville as four and a half point favorites, one by six. And then they beat Miami yesterday at three point dogs, one by 16. First blush is dog. But I, I mean, that's the 80% I'm a favorite. Circus I'm at a, seven and a half. Okay. Circus at seven and a half. Let's see right now. I would, lay, I would lay the seven with Clemson. Yeah, they're I, trying I, to, they're, they're putting that out there right now, seeing if I anybody think, will take it. I think Clemson's going to get ahead of the move. That's what that's called. Yeah. I think Clemson whips them. There you go. But you know, I, I I can't pick anything right now. So you'd be, I would say, you know, take plus seven and a half. Go ahead. Because yeah, Butchie says take seven and a half. That's good. I I, I didn't bet it. I lean Clemson, but that's because I tend to be a little biased. BC is my dad's school. So I'm a little more <laughs> close on. CBW is so happy. This is the first ever Syracuse poll vote. That it we, is right. We have. It, is. it is. You're right. It this is, is why we, we, we love the brigade. We got CBW is like our news hound hawk. He's, he is. He's tags great. us on the tweet, brings these stuff to us. We bring it to the show. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, good luck today. Yeah. But this is like, is this fun? You've been at these tournaments. A team like Syracuse wins today. They're going to get waxed tomorrow yep. if they win. But you want to, I mean, playing is better than not. So playing is better than not having your team be alive is better than not having your team play the next day. It's better than not. You stay an extra day. You get to hang out. You get to hope the dream is alive, right? 
And then you're along yeah. for a miracle, like Wagner, six seed out of, out of the NEC, going dancing. First time since 2013. I saw the post game with that Oakland coach. How yesterday. about the pregame? That guy was unbelievable. Pregame and post game, he was crazy. That guy, great. I will go play for that guy tomorrow. Forty that years in Oakland. It, gets it, gets it. I love it. Absolutely. Forty love years it. he spent there it was incredible for him to him to him. It was just an awesome win. Mm -hmm. Big Twelve tournament. K State Texas. Texas laying four and a half in this one. Playing some basketball now, boys. The Big Twelve is it's ain't no joke. This is no. not for the faint of heart. No, nope. these games. No, nope. these are good basketball teams playing on the first day. I mean, K State is getting no love in this game, and they At should. All. They should. K State's live to win this game, in my opinion. Mm. They they went ten and eight in the Big Twelve. I, I mean, they played Texas. They were nine point dogs on the road when they played Texas. They lost by six. That was the only time they played Texas this year. I don't know. I I think this is a three point four point game. I think this is right on the number. One do you way like or the, the other. Burnt orange of Texas. I do. I I do like Texas's okay. colors a lot. Okay. Yeah, I, I like. I, I've always i I always feel like people like which side Oakland, uh, like Oklahoma or Texas. Like which side would you be on? I tend to lean towards Texas. I don't really know why. I just I, I've liked them more than Oklahoma. But I I the Oklahoma red is pretty. What do they call it? Maroon and cream. It's pretty. But I prefer the I prefer Texas orange. Yeah. Just got an explanation from Mikey Awesome, uh, according to Google. Uh, while the Irish Catholic tradition is associated with the color green, Protestants associate with the color orange because of William of Orange, Protestant king who overthrew Roman Catholic King James. Mm -hmm. There's the history William portion William of the orange. Yep. Thank you. That's the orange. Um, I'm with you here. I, I think this is a close game, and I think the dog can win. Give me the points before. This game is going to be fat. Of all the games today, this is the game I want to watch. How is this? How is Cincinnati favored? No Hunter Dickinson and no, um, what's the name? The McCullers. Two best players with KU are not playing. Because we need to rest? No, they're out. Back knee. Are they going to play in a big dance? Uh, maybe. Not in this tournament at all. They're out of the Big 12 tournament. Both guys aren't playing. Bless you. Both guys are out. Wow. I think over. Is, it, 138 over. Over to? I bet this over 138. Yeah. Ooh. Too too low. There's some totals today. That Have they played any games without these two all season? Together? Uh I mean, in and out of the I mean, McCullers has been in and out of the lineup all year. Dickinson's been very pretty consistent, but then he hurt his shoulder late in the year. So you can't like draw much much from it. But 138 is too low. That's just, just, thought, right? Too You're low. Done without these guys. And this is this is a one and done. Or this is Kansas. Or rally. 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 Eileen KU plus two and a half. Five. Right? Rally. I I lean KU to win the game outright. And I think it's high scoring. I think KU is going to run them. Over 138 is what I bet. I've not bet the side in this game, but since he's four and one to the over with four straight games to the over. They've been scoring more and giving up more. They're hot. I mean, look, Cincinnati Cincinnati's hot. Yesterday, yeah, they beat West Virginia. They, they, they went down by during the show. Remember, I oh. I laid the ten. They won. Yeah. They came back. Huge run to win the game by I, by five. Ooh, they covered those numbers. They covered them little numbers. We plus four and a half. Plus four. Yes, Cincy. The, I I laid ten and I took plus four during the show. Right, we took right, but they even it was two and a half. I think we, we, they were minus two and a half. They they won by four. I took That's plus perfect. four. They were down by right. 14. Yeah, that flipped in the yeah. beginning of the second half. Yeah. It got worse. Right. It was 14 at one point. The lead was there. It takes down a big. lot of coins to keep betting that. And it's just, sometimes that's a bad chase. Yeah, it's a it KU. Like I, this is a KU home game. Absolutely, JC McCasey. 100%. This is talk about, you know, invitationals, like the Gonzaga Invitational here in Vegas. It's a Kansas Invitational. Like no KU fans going into that game thinking that they're losing today. This is Kansas. Like we're not losing in Cincinnati. We're not losing. But what if? What if? Like it's just like let's play and see what happens. And if we lose, it's no big deal because we're going to make our real run next week. Fine, but KU fans don't like that though. I mean, no, this that's is their not, tournament. The fans aren't playing the games. Now, you don't no, know what's but, going on behind closed doors. He rested these two guys. If they are marginable about playing, but we need the next week, it's different things. 
Wow. I had KU minus 4.9 with the man Dickinson with 3.14 together. KU pick them. That makes sense. I can't believe this move. I can't Dog. believe that this, that this is since he's favored by three. I mean, when you click refresh, there's a lot of places at three. I love three. You get over three. You may go over three by the time we get there. But there's I more mean, threes than two and a half. You get three wow. and a half. You I wonder what this I wonder where the resistance is gonna be. Like I mean, no one's going to three and a half. If you see nope. three and a half, you better okay. sound sound the alarm. By the way, Washington's beating USC 25 22 at the moment. Okay. With, uh, seven to play in the first half there for that. So uh, we go to the Big East tournament, Providence, Georgetown. Before you go, why are we talking about this? Massive revenge spot. Okay. Ed Cooley, coach Providence. Now the coach of Georgetown. You make a case for Georgetown. You're on your own. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't. This is an unbettable game. This, this is, is an absolutely unbettable game. You cannot. I, I laughed when I scrolled the run down. Yeah. You can't. When I, got this home, game. Good I was like, Oh, P. Ralt's a Big East guy. I love the Big East too, but like, how does this game make the rundown? Listen, because people, it's rivalry show, and you're doing shows later. Tell them you, you heard on on the BVB about the about this game because ain't nobody talking about this game. Yeah, Providence won by eight and one by thirteen in the two matchups. I mean, Ed Cooley. If you buy, it's hard to beat a team three times, and it's a huge rally spot. I don't know. I I agree. It's it's Georgetown Super Bowl. This is this is everything. <laughs> It is it's their Super Bowl. It is. I'm telling I'm I believe I'm with them. I think it's gonna be I don't know. I, I think Georgetown's live. I think Georgetown's why is Xavier and Butler not on this list right now? Because they're playing right now. It starts in 30 minutes. Well, I mean, it's why because I didn't know when we get to it. So it starts here in 30 That's minutes. That's the game today. It's in Madison move on Square move on Xavier, by the way. It's two and a half now. That's it the was one and a half now, it's two and a half. That's a good game. That's a hell this of a game. This, this is not That's bad. That's an over to Xavier Butler. Yes, I would agree with that. Yes. Over to. Yes, that's an over 100%. I've been but he's morning that. games. I mean, well, it's not morning. It's four o'clock Eastern. So that's fine. Is um, Have you been to these like first days of the Big East tournament? Is there buzz yep. in there for this or no? Depends who plays in it. Is Xavier Butler buzz or no? Uh, no. Butler and Xavier fans travel. So I, I, I will say that they will have fans in the building. It won't be like if you had Villanova playing or St. John's playing right, right. or Seton Hall playing. Right. Like if, if you have one of those teams that are in the region, UConn, if they're playing on the Wednesday, there's a full house and it's going to be buzzing. Uh, the Midwest schools, sort of. I mean, not great, but they do bring fans. They do travel. Well, I would think Butler and Xavier both came to this game thinking they're going to win and they're going to get another game tomorrow. Like that would be a big factor in my decision to go. I would have to, if we're playing the first day, we better think we're going to win. Like I Villanova. I mean, that's close enough. We could shoot up for the day and come back and then go up right. again. But yep. You know, they're, they're winning today against the Paul. I can't believe that number. I just, I just, I just, well, I, I mean, would you lay 24 and a half? I don't want nothing to do with the Paul. <laughs> no, I, I don't want, does. I mean, you talk about unbettable Providence Georgetown. Yes, maybe this is completely unbettable. 24 and a doing? half points. I, 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 I can't Come believe it. I, I, it's, it's a number that doesn't make sense in terms of college basketball, but you've got a DePaul team, seven and 13 ATS in Big East play. Nova's 11 and nine in Big East play, seven and three over their last 10. DePaul's three and seven over their last 10. This is like, it's going to hinge on this number. It's going to be like 26, 24, 22, 26, 20. It's like, it's going to be, they're going to win somewhere between but, 20 and 26 points. So the strength of this then is the in game. Yes. I've been preaching this stuff now since for a long time, since I was doing the in game in a book and learned how this procedure works and, and bet it. I was betting it before that when they were trying and tested it out. If you think it's going to fall right around the number, wait for the game to start. Tyler, not with that knee. You can't score 10 <laughs> on DePaul. You can't score 10. You can't do it with that knee like you used to. He's still in rehab. Yeah. This guy may show up, by the way, at the live oh, show. Oh, right. Tyler can no. figure out how to get there. I told him I would push him around in the wheelchair. Yeah. I told Butchie I would push him around in the wheelchair if he needed it. So either one of you show up. You got me pushing you around in a wheelchair, absolutely. But this game tips. Villanova goes up 8-2. The line goes to 29 and a half. 
30 and a half like that. You got to move it. <laughs> but she, what are you talking about? Shh. People ain't got to know you got that wheelchair sometimes. That's all right. <laughs> He got every move in the book. I love that guy. I can't wait to so, see him again. Big Ten. Yep. Rutgers. There's only one Big Ten game to talk about. I know. How did this stop make the run? Now? Because this total at 125 is unbelievable. <laughs> 125. I bet over just on principle. I, you should have bet under on principle. No. No. This game's going over. Is it? Yes. This game's not. This, this is, you're not getting a 58-56 game in a Big Ten tournament. It's not happening. You're going to foul at the end. You're going to, you know, no, I, I don't say, I mean, like I couldn't, I was like on principle, I'm betting over. You know where this tournament's at? Uh, yeah, it's in, what do you call it? I didn't know this. It's um, always in Chicago usually, right? No, it's not though. It's not it's in, in Chicago. In DC? Year. Nope. One of your favorite places we discussed on the show yesterday. I know this. I can't remember. I remember looking at Connecticut. it. Connecticut. Minneapolis. Minneapolis, Minnesota, yes. the Target okay. Center. Yes, it's Minneapolis, Target Center. Right? How yes. in the hell did they get this? That's good. NBA arena. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the game is not going. Early. I can't look. I, I'm dead cold. I can't pick anything. I'm ice. I just, I bet it on principle because I was like 125. It's like 125 in a college game. Uh, what in a tournament game where they're going to foul like crazy to, to extend the season? Are they, though? Are yes. They? Yes. Yes. 125. I love the people in, 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 in Maryland, the, you know, I, I think the area codes there are 201. No, that's not Maryland. I forget. That's, if you're in Maryland, York, watching the show, New York, 212, 201. I think it's in there. Um, you're laying four? No. You're laying four with this thing? No, like, I seriously? Take, I, I would take Rutgers. The total's but, 125. Yeah. This take, screams you take dog. I think you got to play under. <laughs> First one to 60 wins. Rutgers does stink on the road. The win. Rutgers stinks on a road. It's a road game for both, though, JC from KC. It is. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I'm I'm going over 125. And then, okay, so you're a Penn State team. Oh. Playing, playing against Michigan. Oh. Oh, listen. Michigan, you got the best of everybody in football. Penny, by the way, is at four and a half for that game for Maryland. Woo. They, they're, they're trying to get that dog money. They wow. can't get the dog money. You know what happens in that situation. Butch, mm. he knows more than anybody. Dog will cover. Mm. Um, we are today. It starts the road to, to Sunday what? starts today. They're winning what? today. Okay, it's it's Michigan. Like, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Listen, any chance you could get, you take a shot at the Wolverines. You get it today. Our guy e Lions winning today. Our guy Eli from the Lions. I'll give him a shout out. He made a hell of a case for Ohio State to win the tournament at thirty-five to one. Why not? I bet 10 bucks on it for the hell of it. Why not? I was like, okay. I was like, I just threw 10 bucks on it. I'm like, you know what? You might be right. I was like, let's just see it. 35 to one. Let's just see if you're right, Eli. It's a hell of a time. I can hedge off of it. They make the final. I'll hedge off of it. Yeah. But Actually, you made a hell of a case I, for it. You reminded me. I'm going to reach out to Eli to come on the show with us. Okay, cool. Uh, you know, talk. I mean, the kid. Yeah, I thought, I thought he made a hell of a case on, on, on his writing on, on the lines.com. He wrote yeah. about Ohio State winning the Big Ten tournament. And I was like, you know what? It's not that bad of a bet. <laughs> it's a pretty good play. I was like, I like that. I was like, I'll trail that. There. Yeah, listen, I love the 313. All right. And Claire Check reached out. He's he's ordered more hats. I got a love dream it. with him about uh, a city collection of Detroit hats because they got multiple teams, multiple colors, and different things. Interesting. And it'll probably have a Michigan Wolverine color hat. Okay. It's fine. We could do that. It ends today. I like Michigan. I love Michigan when they play Ohio State. Do they cover? There's one team I'm rooting against all the time. It's the Buckeyes. Okay? So I'll ride Michigan, but not today. Not today. Penn State's winning this game. Winning tonight. Mm. Yes, sir. Uh, Stanford Cal, Pac-12 tournament tonight. No. I mean, is anyone going to be at this game? I think good seats will still be available. <laughs> Like no one's gonna go to either one of these games tonight. Like this is Arizona State, Utah. No, they might. Yeah, that's true. The late game, but they might. Ain't they nobody might going. Think good I'm seats not. are available. Go down and grab a hot dog. I may go. I can't decide. Arizona State, Utah tonight, or um, Big West game. Mountain West. Mountain West. Mountain no, West no, no, no. Mountain West is done. The, the oh. game at Dollar Loan Center. Oh. Um, you see. Santa Barbara is playing against Cal State Northridge. The Gauchos over in that game. Right? 
Over. 151, P. Roth. That's pretty over. high. Over. Over, to, over in that game. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll this Pac-12. Um, Let me see. Cal State. Do you like a side in this game? Stanford Cal? Cal State Northridge. Let's see. Uh, 151. Yeah, 10 and 4 at home. My gosh. Uh, 12 and 8 US, UCSB. 12 and 8 over in conference this year. The juice, the juice just popped it in there. UCSB is his best bet today. Yeah. I like UCSB. Over. Too. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I like it. How many tournaments played in Vegas? Six, I believe. Yep. West Coast Conference done. Um, we got Pac 12. We got uh, Mountain West. West. Mountain West. Big we West. Got this, um, Big West. Big Sky. When the WAC starts in the, today in the WAC. at New Orleans, yeah. the, the WAC. They, they take the West Coast Conference out. They bring the WAC in. Yep. We got. Cal Baptist playing Utah Valley at 6. Abilene Christian playing Stephen F. Austin at 8.30. Uh, then we got Dollar Loan Center. That's the Big West Conference tonight. Um, so that's those. What is that, five? Six. Yeah, there's one, one, one more. Big one Sky, more. Big West. Uh, Mountain, Mountain West. Pac-12, West Coast Conference. And the, and the – I'm leaving one off. I believe there's six. There's six conference tournaments that get played here. Whack. Oh, and the whack. There you go. There's your, there's your six. You like Arizona State tonight or Utah? Man. Utah can score. I like Utah a lot. I mean, they, one of those situations. Utah's like is... BYU. It's funny. Same state. They play the same way. They just jack threes. If they're on, BYU was on today. That's why, I mean, I said it on the juice last night. I said, look, if BYU hits threes, I lose. BYU hit threes. I lost. If Utah hits threes, Arizona State's going to get run, run out of the gym. They'll get crushed today. Early votes are coming in. Syracuse is at about a 60%. NC State at about 40% on that pick em game. This is – Arizona State can win this game, can't they? I think they can win this game. Uh, Most likely, yeah. They could win this game. When you see six, you start to get to that like, man, is the dog live at all? I think they are. So I, I, I mean, I'm not. I don't think laying six is great. Oh, geez, the juice just came in with Arizona State doesn't have Perez. Yes, second leading score. He walked off the team last week. He what? Walked off the team. Go play pro. Oh, he left. Just say see you later. Oh, Big Sky's in Idaho this year. Okay, so maybe it's not in Vegas. Maybe there's only five. Okay. There was a big sky was before he was here. I thought Thor was here before. Uh, Utah's tallest team in D1. That's true. They think they're all jerk. That's true. There's Jack threes, right? The tallest team, they never, and nobody, re, re, no one rebounds. It's true. They just <laughs> really, oh, yeah. The tallest team in D1, and they shoot all shoot threes. Number Stevie one, Stevie Anderson just came in and said they're playing for their tournament life. Utah, they are. That's what he just said. Utah's playing yes. for their tournament life. Agreed. Is that good or bad when you handicap the game? I think it's good. I think you get a full effort. See, I think you get pressure. I think that tightens it up. Oh, money's coming in on Arizona State. It's down to five yeah. and a half now. That's yeah, that's the move. Arizona State. I like dog. Okay. Uh, to the NBA we go. Brooklyn, Orlando. The total is two oh six. Dave, four one and one last night to the under in the NBA. Another run for the NBA unders. And it's the same characters, the same teams. Like just keep happening. These are two under teams. Oh, hell yeah, they are. This I mean, is it's, down, it's down to 204 and a half. Yeah. First move Jeez. under. Yeah. What's Jeez? It's a half a, a point and a half. No big deal. It's a, for an NBA game, 204 and a half. Oh, oh just in general. Well, 206 yeah. was a good starting point. Listen, this is what the morning guys or the overnight guys have to decide. This they had to do this every day. You know, we keep grading the games and it keeps going under. People keep betting the under. Well, how low do we go? 204 at Penny. Wow. Let's make it 199 and a half and let them bet over. See what happens. So the it, lowest for Orlando this year, their lowest total. Close. At close. Lowest closing total. Is today. 204. Yeah. Brooklyn has had their lowest total. Is today. Huh. This is the lowest. This is going to, unless it gets bet back up. 204 will be the lowest close. I mean, in Brooklyn's gone over five straight times. 
there you Brooklyn's, go. Brooklyn's been this under machine, and now on the opposite side, it's Orlando. They are the under machine. But 208.5 over by 12.5 against Cleveland. 207 over by 2 against Charlotte. 215 over by 15 against Detroit. 212.5 over by 6.5 against Philadelphia. And 206.5 over by a point and a half against Memphis last five games for the Brooklyn Nets. Weird card tonight in the NBA. I mean, there's some bad team matchups this game, Brooklyn, Orlando. What are we doing? This is good. You're talking about the total. I think it's under, but a lot of times two bad teams. It goes over. I'd be, be careful. careful. I, 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 I might have reached a point where it's a GPP general just, principle play just, just to go over. Yeah, 204 is. That's why I bet 120. It's the same thing with Rutgers in, in Maryland. Like it's 125. Yeah, like oh, I like to go under those. I like oh, to go 204 over, over. Like, my gosh. Yeah. Are the Heat going to win tonight? Maybe. Doesn't it feel like Denver's going to punt this game? Like, what do they need this game for? Three. Three. Like this, this just feels like, like I don't, I don't, like Denver doesn't need it. Like, come on. They, they don't need it. They're laying three and a half. Oh man! I think take the heat. I think take heat money line. Oh. I got to see who's playing. Right. I got to see who's playing. This is this is that send it out, leave it sit there, waiting to see if the big guy's playing, or if Butler's not playing, or something like. There's got to be some question mark here. This is these cross conference NBA matchups are so difficult to. One, put up numbers, but two, now more than ever yeah. after the All-Star break in March. What the hell are we put up with this? Numbers probably say this should be five, five and a half. Denver, but you can't put up that high, so you put up three and you wait mm. and see if the rhombuses and the parallelograms take the dog. Is it live? Yes. Question mark? Yes. Last three games in a row, Miami has lost. They're desperate for a W tonight. They need a win. Losing three in a row. Uh, my CLV for the day today is the oh. total between Golden State and Dallas. Oh, I bet under 237 last night. It's now 233. No Steph Curry for Golden State, and the Warriors are on an under machine march at the moment. You want you want Dallas minus all them points? You can't sidewise. What the hell do you do with this? Seven? No, I want no part under 18 and 12 to the oh. under Golden State. Eight and two to the under over their last 10, 19 and 15, Dallas to the under at home, and no Steph for Golden State. Under 237. Man, oh man. Aye, 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 aye. I yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I have no no strong opinion other than Luca. Just bet Luca's props over. He's been absolute money. Money on these props. Seriously, he really has. Yeah. I mean, I mean Boston you know, Jokic have their club last night. It's a great question. <laughs> over to if he was out. Yeah. Although I don't know. He's he's kind of, you know, he's he's kind of widening it down a little bit. I think it's time we got to go get another championship. Mm -hmm. I got a better to book it for you right now, Toronto, Detroit. Three and a half, the Pistons. Better to book it. Do I have to? It's part of the show. You get to ask me every day. You know I'm what? asking you. I don't want to bet this game. This game is gross. This is how I feel when you hit me with these Wagner things and stuff at the end. Gross. You pick? It's gross Better game. Book it. I guess I lay, I lay it with the Pistons. They're lay at home. It. They're at home. Put the Pistons model back on. This could be guess the Pistons. So. This could be the Dodgers. This could be. This is the pop and the BBB hats. Good. This is Pistons again. But over to. This is a over to 233. That's the number. Over to, I got one more for you. All right. Another a car game, but not really. The Lakers are at Sacramento. The Lakers are laying three. The Lakers are laying three on the road. Check the history. I'll put the Lakers in the Sacramento Kings, please. Check it. Just check it real quick. This Somebody year? Put it in the chat. This year or overall? Like the last, like. Well, on, on October. 10 games. On October 29th, they beat them by five. Ooh. The the Kings beat the Lakers by five. Right on the fifteenth of November, they beat the Lakers by fifteen. Uh huh. Uh, and then they played did not. And then they played them on the sixth of March and beat them by ten. They're three and zero this year against the Lakers. They're three point dogs. What Lakers are we have, doing? Lakers have won three or four. 
Not against the Kings. No, but they won overall three or four. People. So of the Kings, though, Kings have won three or four as well. I got Kings plus three. Bet it or book it. Bet it. There you go. That's the NBA portion of the show, boys and girls. It's two and a half. It's two and a half. Oh, Bear, Bear, Bear says book it. Bear doesn't like it. I'll see you on Thursday, Bear. I'll <laughs> see you at the live show on Thursday. Uh, that's fine. You can book it. That's fine. That's fine. Interesting. Bear keeps texting me. He's, he he hits me with these random texts. He kept me abreast of the Russell Wilson thing. He said, you know you got your new quarterback. Two days before it happened, wow. Bear Mullings sent me a text. You're going to like the Russ era. <laughs> said, it's not funny. It's not funny. Leave me alone right now. I'm watching hockey. He got wow. me good. Yeah, he was right. Bear was right. Maybe Bear will be right tonight. I don't know. Let's see. Hockey. Nashville's at Winnipeg. Big favorite for Winnipeg. Minus 160. Nashville's Probably. playing really well. 160. That seems Under the, heavy. Under the. Five and a half. I know you don't like that number. Under the. Be wrong. With Winnipeg, I, I feel more confident you can lay it. But it's juiced to the over. Yeah. That's why you bet under. Fred's first period under. Fred's first period under. Winnipeg's hmm. been good. Okay. Nashville's been good. All right. Let's yeah. see. First oh, lead wow. is uh is 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 dog close game overtime, something like that. But under the, the first, first period unders, uh Nashville was used to be one of the best in hockey. Now they're middle of the pack, 57% to the over. Uh, but Winnipeg is still the second to worst first period over team, only 43% of the time to the first period over this year for Winnipeg. Tyler Wyatt, Lakers six and ten straight up as a road dog. Road favorite though. But but they're the they're Lakers favorite. are favored. They're favorite. Tyler, get it together. They're favored. Not, what do you not put dogs. these things on here? Straight up. <laughs> they're not a road dog. They're a road they're favorite. Favorite. They're road favorite. So that number is gonna be even worse when you do road favorites. Damn but yeah, Tyler. I read it. I I, everything Tyler says, I just read. I don't even have to check. I know he's watching and he sends it typo. It's all right. Uh Washington is at Edmonton tonight. This is an over, is it not? We get number Six ones or we getting a backup tonight? Um, let's see. They, Why is the move to the under? They've confirmed it yet. Let's see. Because Edmonton's been somewhat of an under team. Uh, right? It is Skinner against Kemper. So we got number ones. They're tightening things up. The Oilers are tightening things up. A lot of people making moves on them, getting them in the uh, futures and stuff. Western really? Conference. Wow. Okay. Eh, not sure yet. Oh, uh, they're going to make you sweat tonight, right? Uh, I've, I'm not betting Minus it. Minus but... 300? Mm -hmm. Minus 300? It's a big oh number. God. Um, I don't know. I don't know why to move to the under. I mean, it's under minus a quarter at some of these books I'm looking at right now. Right. <laughs> Five one final. Potential. That's the problem. Or three two final. Oilers roll. I think Oilers puck line. Linus. Bonvi. Okay. Get me, I gotta get me one of them Royals. Game of the night oh. in the NHL. Yes, it is. Colorado at Vancouver. We got a hockey game here tonight, boys and girls. Basically a pick 'em. Who I wins? I cannot wait to watch this. I am watching this entire game. No, I'm not. If I go to the see, if I go to the basketball game somewhere, I'm this. not going to watch this game. I'm going right. to record it, and watch it later. Right. See, some people stay up and like watch movies. Some people stay up and do things. Some people just go to sleep or read books. I'll stay up and rewatch this game, like just to see. Sure. What did Tyler, say? what was that? Two and four straight up as a road favorite since the since Thanksgiving. It's Turkey Day. Thank you. Leg show likes it's Avalanche. Avalanche. Okay. That's a hell of an avatar. Leg Show Magazine. That is <laughs> Leg Show Magazine. Every time that pops up, I get catches my eye. I'm just not gonna lie. Leg guy. Big leg guy. Um I like Vancouver. I like Vancouver. This is this is the game where they get everybody hyped and excited about what could be. I think this is this is this is the game for them. Only because you get Colorado off the back to back. They destroyed Calgary yesterday. Losing hmm. twice. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Tough. I lean Colorado. Yeah. But Vancouver's at home. They've been really good. 
why the yeah. show's called Bostonian yeah. versus the book. They've been, they've we, been really we have good. Opposite sides of games. That's they've fun. Been really, they've been really good. Put that yeah. in the chat for the hockey guys. Let the hockey guys have a poll here before we get out. We got the votes on Syracuse and NC State. This might be our first Vancouver, Canada poll for the people. Who you got tonight in the hockey, boys and girls? Colorado. They did look amazing. Sharpie underscore RW. They did look good. It's to the point where they're like, oh, boy. Yeah, it's time to go get the Colorado Futures. They're back. They're all the way back. Oh, they is, it, De- is it DeSmith tonight? What? It is Casey DeSmith tonight. Yeah, that, it's Jordy Evans against Casey DeSmith. Yes, give me give me Colorado. Yeah. Demko, Demko's out. Yeah, it's 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 DeSmith. Yeah, so yeah, Colorado. Give me Colorado. See, I'm a book guy. I just put up the number and let the people bet it. I gotta right. sit here and take it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Right? Bam! Just like Cheeto. <laughs> right in the face. Boom! Keep it coming. The game's only pick him. Keep playing it. So uh Coomers. So- you sent me this story yesterday. A man's accused of defrauding investors in a sports betting Ponzi scheme. In which, I mean, this is what this is a weird story, Dave. Like, this is one of those stories you send me and I read it. I'm just like, what? This is from the Justice Department. A man from Pennsylvania has been indicted in St. Louis and accused of defrauding investors in a sports betting fund for more than five years. 47-year-old guy named Eli Goshert indicted in November on three counts of wire fraud. He was arrested in Pennsylvania back uh, on February 28th of 2024, pled not guilty in U.S. District Court on Tuesday. The indictment said who had a day job as a telecommunication company told investors that he ran an investment fund called the Magellan Sports Fund. Goshert said around the world for winners, Magellan. (laughs) Gosher said the fund placed bets using a, quote, sophisticated computer algorithm that substantially reduced risk, the indictment says. Gosher told investigators he would not make any money unless the bets turned a profit, but the indictment says that Gosher actually used investors' money for personal expenses, including Disney vacations, private school tuition, and mortgage payments. Gosher sent fraudulent, quote, updates and account statements to investors and lied to investigators when they tried to withdraw cash, the indictment says at least 10 investors lost more than $500,000. Dave, this guy took 10 investors for $5 million. <laughs> 10 investors lost over half a million dollars each. each. I had to put the dark glasses on for this one. <laughs> I didn't want nobody to see my eyes while I'm talking. Because anybody could believe. I would love to sit with this guy and hear the pitch. I need to hear the pitch for this. Send me half a mil. Don't worry be about good. it. We <laughs> I'll, got I'll, a, I'll turn it over. I'll turn it around for you. We got an algorithm. <laughs> we're going to win. I'm calling it Magellan because we're going to beat these bookies all over the world. We're going to get them. You send me a half a million. I got these other five guys. We're going to bet big. We got big limits. Woo! Yeah. We can't, we can't lose. We can't lose because you ain't betting. He took the money, went on the trips. What each, the hell is going on? Each wire fraud charge that he's been indicted by carries up to 20 years in prison, a $250,000 fine, or both. Each count, not good for him. Three counts. So he's facing 60 years, up to 60 years in jail and 750,000 in fines. This guy has kids. Mm. Paid for private school. It wasn't for him to go back and get a master's. Right. He didn't need it. He was hustling everybody. So you make a decision in life. (laughs) All right. Forget about him. We talk about the games and we got his system was the regularly (laughs) bet NBA overs. We talk about the games and we talk about the picks and we talk about, you know, right, wrong, all this other stuff. But like, this is one of those life moments where I read this story and I went, I love this business. I love a lot of the people in it, but man, oh man, oh man, this is another black guy. This guy was out telling people he got an algorithm. He's taking the money, funding his life. 
every decision has consequences. I Heck tell the yeah. kids this all the time. You have to know what you're doing. At some point, this guy decided, sorry, Will. He he went FEA on him. He went, fuck them all. I'm taking the money, and I'm living <laughs> it up. You can use the FEA for the right reasons or for the wrong, the wrong reasons. reasons. Right? <laughs> yep. Right? Yep. And I went, I can't believe it. I got two texts from people, and I when one of the guys I met you said, you said you hear about that guy who got busted with the sport betting fund? I'm like, no, what are you talking about? He said, said show me the story. I'm like, oh my god, because in my previous life at CG, right, we were the first people to make it possible for this. We had this guy Quentin, who was the lawyer, write the legislation that made sports betting funds an actual reality, and we had people coming in trying to say they were going to be a sports betting fund, how you get in the money. Everything had to be very regulated. None of this was regulated. What I, I, I can't believe it. I'm 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 so like I reread it again. I want to go read the legal documents. I would love to hear the pitch. I would love to hear because we're talking to people about real life stuff, me and you with this show. We're talking sure. to real life people all over the country, down south, up north, all over. I'd love to know how he got somebody to hand him a check for half a million dollars and told him he had an algorithm that was going to beat the books. Because as a telemarketer, you gave us a half a million. Oh my! Look the hell out! If you think this is good now, you gave us money and time to do what we needed to do. They ain't going to know what hit them. <laughs> I just don't believe it. Like I can't believe it. As someone who's even, you know, like. I mean, I don't want to say you're scratched the surface. You're deeper into this business. When you read this, what did you think? Par for the course. See what I mean? That's bad. <laughs> I mean, That's bad. It's, it's what's going on. It's going on everywhere. I mean, this is going on everywhere. This this is the one thing that legalization has done. It's brought out an insanely new batch of charlatans, liars, and scam artists. Ain't that the truth. I mean, it's, it's all that's all this has done is opened up this, you know, not that they weren't doing it otherwise, but now they can do it loudly and they could do it brazenly and they can go where maybe they'd be hus whispering like under a hush. I mean, like, hey, man, give me like $10,000. I'll, I'll turn it around fast. Now he's like, I'll get he's broadcasting it. Give me a half a million. Watch what I do. All of you. I can stand up and give a whole presentation about this. I'm going to beat the books here, there and there. Give me the money. Watch what happens. It's scam 101. I mean, it's, and people are like, okay, I'll give you a bigger bang than the, than a bank will ever give you. You give me half a million dollars. I'm not giving you 2%, 3% return. I'm going to give you 50. And people are like, okay, here you go. I mean, you know, to some old guys who just want action, who want to you know, ride the wave. Maybe there's some historical data he had. He was a telemarketer in telecommunications. Like, Gave him ten million to go run around, or five million. Be really good on the phone. Yeah, but so is you know. Really good on the phone. Look at go he's watch money. Wolf, go watch Wolf of Wall Street, right? Wolf of Wall Street's the whole thing, right? Without it's, a doubt. Without you know, a penny stocks, and if you, a guy can really pitch and really sell, and people buy it and people get into it, you know. But that's just what it is. I, I just I don't know. I I, I think there are so many things that are going on right now that aren't being talked about that aren't being exposed that could be getting exposed in the near future. And that's why when I say the government's going to get involved at some point is because we're going to get a lot of bad stories. <laughs> we're gonna get, these stories aren't going to stop. They're only going to, it only is going to get worse for people getting arrested and people having things. Man. Oh man. Oh man. You know, oh man, it's just, it sucks, but it's, it's no good. And, and I hope, you know, I mean, we built a nice following and we're going to continue to build it. You know, we don't have to sell anybody anything. You and mm -hmm. I, we show up every day and do the show. That's our literally we, we have a mission statement. What do you guys do? We show up and do the show. That's what I tell people. I'm done. I don't have to pitch anybody. I don't have to do this. Listen, I've, I've been in this business. I see these things and I go, I, I, I'd love to hear this because, again, you said it's par for the course. This is the common. I think that regular people will look at this and go, this sports betting is 
messed up. There's guys doing this. Well, I don't know that. I I think it's a little more nuanced. I don't think the general public gives a flip. Like I think the general public could go, okay. Well, who do you give your money to then? Well, I just think people in the sports betting world, like this fraud of this nature is happening every day in every walk of the of government and every walk of um in every walk of business. So like a guy defrauding 10 people out of $5 million is not really a big story. It's a big story because they use sports betting to get it done. To us, it's a story. But I think to the general public, it's just another guy stealing rich people's money and pocketing it himself because he wanted to be rich himself, and he wasn't. So Finish this on the other side. Get us out of here. Sirius XM and Sports Grid, thank you for being here. We're back tomorrow on a Thursday if you guys are with us live on YouTube and live on Twitter, don't move. We got more to come in bonus time, which starts right now. Um, so yeah, I hope. I mean, it, it, it again, like this can be like you know, one of the big things for professional betters and stuff is when they start, they have to scale. This guy obviously scaled it up from the top and went, you know, went and got rich people with money. But, like, I think about that all the time in other walks of life. There's people coming at people with money all the time. How do you decide what to do with it is really up to you. Um, I mean, I, I stumble upon websites all the time, right? And, like, I, I'm, I'm looking at one at the moment. It says, world's best handicapping picks, okay? Yeah. Looks legitimate. It's a bunch of people we've never heard of. Right. A bunch of guys who have faces that look like people that you could trust. Nine straight winners, fifteen straight winning days, sure. all, all, all all the stuff that's that, that's going on like this, and like there are handicapping services, and then the people who are doing it right, who are doing giving out picks and plays, who are selling their time because they should be compensated for the time that they do, yeah. and then there's people who take the same stuff and they twist it and they make it for their own personal profit. And then they find people who are either down on their luck or people who are addicted to gambling and they'll wring them out like a wet towel and they'll take every single dollar that they've got. There's that happens in every walk of, of, of life just based upon your character. And I think the one thing that you and I try very hard to do and we take it very seriously is that our character, our name, our integrity is a, is, is beyond like we're never going to get ourselves into, into a position where anyone has to question that. Like that's the fundamental oh. bedrock of this show. That's it. Is that what we say we're going to do, we're going to do. And no one's trying to take anybody for a ride. No one's trying to take anybody, you know, we're lying. Oh. You know, I, I tell you my picks and plays. I tell you when I win, I tell you when I lose it, it's, it's, we understand what this is instead of selling a dream. I've always, I've, I've always said to myself, like, I want to sell reality. I don't want to sell a dream. I want to sell reality. I want to tell you what really is going on. I, I want to, if you're in my life, I tell people they're in my life. I want you to know, like, this is what my life is. Like, it's real. It's not some fucking fairy tale bullshit. Like, you know, That's for sure. gumdrops and fucking, you know, M&Ms falling from the sky. Like right. it's, it's hard. L life is difficult. Life is not easy. And you have yes. to find your way to fight your way through it every fucking day. Yep. And you know, on the good days, like in, you know, enjoy it, like appreciate it because the dark days are coming. The bad times are coming. It's just how the world, how your life's going to go. And so many people sell the fake hope, even rich people, oh, the fake that, like, Hey man, I'm going to make you so much money. Yeah. I'm going I'm to destroy. Yeah. You're going to have so much fun. Yeah. Your wife will never know where the extra money's coming from. I'm going to, I'm going to slip you thousands. She'll never know your ex-wife. Let's get around the alimony payments. Let's figure this out. You give me half a mil. I'm going to wash it for you clean. Here's the money coming back. Cause you stop and go, why would someone give him a half million dollars? Well, he may have an ex wife somewhere that's taking that money and he wants to, how can I take the, the half a million I owe you? I'm going to make it work for myself. And nobody will know that I turned that half a million into two. So like I'm giving you half ex wife. You have it. I got 1.5 off of it. I'm good. Like that's how these things operate. People yeah. do these things all the time. So it's just a one. I, I don't mean to sound like you know, really kind of. I don't know, like like I, I when you ask me like it's par for the course. It sounds like it's this it, it business is full of snake oil salesmen and in in charlatans. It's not. There are some good people who do this right. Yeah, but a lot of times we've talked about it. Like the books are starting to go down that road themselves. 
and starting to take advantage of people. With power comes responsibility. It's mm -hmm. a great quote. When you run the book, you have the power. You have to, you, you, you know, and when you have money, you have the power. Right. A lot of times in certain situations, you have more leverage. I think you have to always be wary of that, whether you're on either side of the equation. I saw this and I was bummed out. I was like, this, this guy robbed these people. Mm -hmm. He told them he had an algorithm that was going to beat the books and they believed it. If somebody has an algorithm to beat the books, he ain't offering it to you. <laughs> He's beating the books themselves and keeping like, it quiet. That's what I'm saying. Like these, the, 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 the loudest guy in the room, probably like, you know, oh, we're on bonus time. The guy that talks about having a 12 incher, mm -hmm. you know, has mm -hmm. a little pee pee. Right. Little That's yeah. usually, you know, so listen, it's, it's just, it was, it was a good story to talk about. It gave us a reason to talk about the business in general. Mm -hmm. And speaking I, of, um, but that part of the body, <laughs> can you explain to me what the hell is it? this, this all in comma? My ass. 69, 68 million views on this. Twitter's going to break. <laughs> All in my ass. In case you're curious, that's in reference to what Jerry Jones said about being all in right. on free agency where the Dallas Cowboys right. are the only team in the NFL to have yet have signed a free agent. So that elicited Skip Bayless all in my ass. With the comma being very important. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. I saw that. And then what did Trista say? She just put up race flags. Oh, she said pause. Yeah, pause. She went pause. She <laughs> quote tweeted it yeah. and said pause. Stop. Which made me, I was drinking water when I was reading that, and I almost spit it all out. <laughs> because Trista's been on the show. We met her. I just saw her at Super Bowl. Yep. Trista Crick, she she does content. She just says stuff. A lot of times, whatever comes out of her mouth, that's true. Good or bad, if it, it's usually pretty good and it's funny. That one got me. Skip with the comma. I just all in comma. My, my ass. ass. <laughs> just you won. That was great. You won. That's it. I mean, yeah. if you want to get you want to get people clicking on your. <laughs> That's it, right there. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, comma yeah. the most important of punctuations. Yes. Conjunction, junction. What's your function? <laughs> remember that schoolhouse yeah. rock, guys. If you're you old need... enough to remember, you know you know what I'm talking about. Commas, very important part of the English language. Hundred percent. Very important. Little water. <laughs> Time for better to book. <laughs> All right, as I said, Rutgers, Maryland over 125. Book it. Under. Principal principal First play. 60. We're going under. This one may go under. It may get 115. Yeah, I think we're we're going. Good I luck. I mean, I going like one. I think we're, we're it's 130. The game will fall 130. All right. That's where I'm on that. Uh Georgia Lane three tonight against what? Missouri. Georgia Lane three. Number this is when you get to test if you know the conferences or not. I like to find the games by the conference. Missouri has – Hold on, you froze. Hold on. I don't hear you. I don't see you moving. Now you're back. Snap your Missouri is 0-16 in the, in the SEC. <laughs> why, why is it only three? Because Georgia sucks too. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Missouri didn't win a conference basketball game? Mm -mm. Holy crap. I just like double-check it to myself. I was like, wait, what? That's, That's just, that, What? Where, it's like, come where, on. Where is the game? I'm going through all it's late 9 30 Eastern, I believe it is. Uh wow. What's all the way at the bottom? Mm -hmm. There it is. Wow. 6 30. That's a 9 30 Eastern. In the, Nashville. In Nashville. Is Nashville East Coast time Cent zone or Central? <laughs> Central. God bless you. Thank you. Central. Central. So that's a 8 30 start. And no one's going to be in the building. Well, I was going to say, we're talking friends and family. Yeah, no one's like, in the we're building. going to be able to hear the guy ordering his food at the refreshment stand in this building. Um, Dear Lord, P. Ralt, I, I there ain't going to win the first game. I was going to say I'll book it, but I can't. I can't. I say bet it. Good luck. <laughs> and then I've got massive 
CLV on this under 237 Dallas Golden State. Dallas wins. Game goes under. Dallas wins. Games goes under. Mm-hmm. I'll be the book guy in this spot. I'll I'll, I'll take the action. I'll, I'll 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 let you have the move. You got the CLV. Mm-hmm. Game goes over. Bet it. TPR. You with me? Question mark. He likes it. Uh he does. super chat questions to be answered. You got a couple? Got two Baltimore Chef Benny. The first being Irish yeah. Rovers, the Orange. It's, it's a good band. Irish Rovers is a good band. The Orange and the Green. Good song, okay. Chef Benny. We're, go. we're getting we're, we're gearing up for St. Patrick's Day in this house. So we're getting ready. So we gotta get the music, get the the Baileys. I stopped the hard 30 right in time. It's on purpose. I get, I'm almost I'm glad we're actually not doing the show on Sunday. Two, people love the dance. People love that clip that we had from last year. <laughs> I, well, I'm just I only because I'm waiting for Monday. Like what? Uh, if well, you can bring that type of level post. No, it's got to be on the day. It, it, it can't be, be around the day. day. Although I think we are. I think Sonic is doing a special overlay for us for for Friday. So we'll have a St. Patrick's Day version overlay for. It's a big deal for should any boss. Should we do an immediate reaction selection Sunday? Um, hmm. Something that's a good idea. Be special. I, I like that idea. Would show up. I know people would show up. You yeah. think we would get people to watch it? Yeah, I do. I think I think bracket wise, because the numbers come out. Why don't we wait till the odds come out? Yeah, we'll do it. It'll be like a, a West Coast. I mean, the guys on the East Coast might miss it because it might be no. a little bit late. But if we do it oh, at that late at all, it'll be like nine o'clock, six o'clock Pacific, nine o'clock yeah. Eastern. Because I think the bracket comes out at five, right? Well, I think it comes out a little bit earlier than that. Oh, well, then it then takes it takes like an hour for the books to get the numbers ready. Yeah, you start to say, listen. They're already kind of done a lot of times. Like when you have the you have the team, you have the team. You just throw the number up. So I'll show up to watch the show. Yes, TPR, are you with me, guys? Listen, tweet at us. Put it, send it, put it in the Discord. Yeah, so three p.m. our time. So I mean, like we'll have it by four o'clock, four thirty our time. The number will be out. So if we do six o'clock Pacific, oh, that's nice. Nine o'clock Eastern, that's nice. You guys could do a show recapping a chess match and we'd be here. I don't believe you, AOWN, but I love you <laughs> for even saying that. Thank you very nice much. You. Were you a good chess player? Yes. Hmm. Still am. I love chess, but it got to the point where when the guys could play me without looking, mm-hmm. I was like, fuck you. I can't win. Right. They could play the game. They could look not at the board. They didn't know where the moves were. It's just like, oh, I play blind. Play blind? I'm done. I can't right. win this game. Right. Uh, and then Benny said, thoughts on the Chef Benny college basketball homer parlay. Okay. Providence, okay. Quinnipiac, uh-huh. Penn State. Wow. Live outside of Providence. Went to QU. Brothers went to PSU. Yeah, he's a he's a Nittany line. By, so, by, uh, let's see. By so favorite. Providence. So Providence is minus What's five. Quinnipiac line. Quinnipiac. Minus, minus 520 there on Providence. Uh, Penn State is minus 310. Oh, the Q, they're, they're playing, Quinnipiac's playing Canisius in Atlantic City. Tomorrow or today? No, this is today, 3.30. Where is that number? Chef oh. B, six and a half, seven, all the way down at the bottom. All the way at the bottom? They, 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 yeah, they put these things all the way down. I don't know, they're not in order. This is when it's really hard. When you work at a book, if you still use a book that has game numbers and you go up and ca- please use the game numbers. I'm going to talk about it on Friday. Do's and don'ts for coming to Vegas for March Madness. We're going to break it down. This is Fandle that doesn't have this game listed for Quinnipiac. Oh, yeah, you got to go into extra, like the scroll. It's in there. It's hard to find. Oh, UNLV mm-hmm. lost the hockey championship game. Last yep, three nothing last night. Yeah, I think I just I got blanked. I was following. It was one nothing, and then it, in the, it, going into the third period, it was one nothing. Yeah, and they, then they lost the last three. Uh, yeah, because it goes to Thursday. I've got eleven thirty p.m. Eastern. Why wouldn't FanDuel put that up? All right, I'll go DraftKings. Let's see. What I, I don't know. But I, it's seven. It's it's seven and a half, six and a half, seven. It's game okay. number 689, 690 on the rotation schedule. Okay. Six and a half or seven. Right now, Circa, six and a half. Westgate, seven. South Point, Chrissy, seven. DraftKings is six and a half. Caesars, William Hill, six and a half. 144, 144 and a half. So for some reason, that Quinnipiac game is off the board. Well, it's just not. No, it's not. It's not up at DraftKings. It's not up at FanDuel. They pulled it down for some reason. Huh. I wonder why, but they pulled uh-huh. it down because they book any. Those books book everything. They don't care what they'll book. They'll take action on any game that's being played. 
Unfortunately, those books have left action up on games and teams that they're not supposed to in different Correct. places. They pay fines handsomely in places like <laughs> Massachusetts because the guy didn't click the box. Leave it off. Yeah. Well, for some reason that I don't. It may be temporary, but as of right now, that's not that. That, that that's not. I up, like but, this, Chef B. Yeah. Michigan's losing to Penn State. Providence is. I mean, if they don't beat Georgetown, I can't even. I don't even know what that's got to be. So it's on you. In the Quinnipiac. It's on you. If that don't win, that's on you. But I think that wins, Chef B. Are they playing Temple? <laughs> Not right. Too soon. <laughs> Stu too soon, Anderson. Too scared? Soon. They're scared to put it up? I don't know. Scared Interesting. To Maybe. To look, they're like 3.30. Okay. Nice 3.30 on that? Yeah, that's right around there. Yep. Chalk, chalk, oh, chalk. Winner. Oh, my. They're up 35-21 at you. They just played UTSA, too. Yeah, they got them figured out. That's good. UTSA is not good. I can't believe Temple it. Temple is smacking them. How about that? Good. good for Temple. I hope they win the whole thing. Favorite thing about today is what? <laughs> I hope they win the whole fucking thing, just like Jake Taylor said in Major League. Um, Favorite thing about today is this. One, I was out early. I slept my I, – I, I had – the night I shut it down, I did say goodbye to the dog. I saw Grandma – early like 7 30 i didn't see her again i said good night to the kids back east mm -hmm. and i slept so i felt great i was up and about stopping around but i did a show yesterday with uh ian epstein from yep. prop swap and okay. there'll be a clip out you can see it on the prop swap twitter he put out a clip and i told the story about the stroke and my dad coming back and he telling me to stop worrying so i sent it randomly driving home from your place today I thought of something, and I thought of a guy who I dearly love, Moses the Barber, was a guy who, you know, he cut my hair from the time I'm a little kid, and I like to say this is a result of what he did. This is his work because I ain't got no hair no more. He cut it all the time. But he's the older brother that I never had because I'm the oldest of five. And he had told me last week or the week before that he was going in for heart surgery. And oh. – I knew it was this week. I thought it was Friday, and I don't even know what day it is. So I randomly sent him the text with the clip about – because he knew my dad very well. Him and my dad were close, too, um, about to stop worrying. And he sent me, I'm going under the knife tomorrow morning. So his heart surgery is scheduled for tomorrow. Damn. And my favorite thing about today is going to be the phone call tonight because I called him real quick. And he couldn't talk because the hospital was calling him right after I called him. I talked to him for 15 seconds. I said, I'm going to do the show. You're going to be my favorite thing about today. I love you. And if I could, I'd mm -hmm. be there tomorrow in the hospital room with Debbie, his wife, to be there when you wake up. Because he was one of the first people to call me in the hospital to say, oh, my God, are you alive? What's wrong? And... Then I said, am I talking okay? I, I, I had a stroke, and strokes, you know, you don't talk good. And he goes, no, you're sound fine, but you keep calling me Bill. And I said, "I really? I said, I I, I, I was just talking. I, I don't think I called you Bill at all. And he's like, I got you. Oh, he was jogging me. Okay. I was in the bed. Wow. He was jogging me. This is the guy that, I mean, I genuinely love this guy. Damn. So he's going under the knife tomorrow. Nothing but positive thoughts from this group, from myself, my whole family. But my favorite thing about today is that I told him, I said, how do you feel? He said, I'm nervous. I said, stop worrying. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to wake up. You're going to get that bionic part put in there, whatever it is. And you're going to feel so much better after mm -hmm. that, that we're going to have to text every morning. P. Ralt's rucking every day. I'm doing my best to get that damn vest on and mm. do it myself. Mm. We got more life to live, boys. We're going places. We're doing into there. Favorite thing about today, get him, Moses the barber. Things are going to be amen. Fun. That that would be phenomenal. That yep. would be, uh, that'd be awesome to see him. Hopefully, everything works out well. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's it's I get to go eat whatever the hell I want coming up here. I have not eaten. I I have not had wings in a while. I'm going to have wings for lunch, and I cannot wait to go and have them, and just. Uh, just for a day. I mean, I, I, I'm taking today off, but tomorrow I'll be back at it. I got to just relax. Yesterday, I decided to kick the shit out of myself, and I did a 2.3 ruck with the weighted vest to the gym, lifted for 45 minutes, went in the sauna for 20, and then rucked 2.3 miles back home in two hours. 
And then I passed out. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was so tired. So that was the way I ended uh, the hard 30. And, you know, it's just, it's, I've had people reach out and people in the brigade who have reached out to me and said, hey, that they started the hard 30 or they've done it or the hard 75. 75 is a really big commitment. It's really worth it. It's something that you have to, uh, wings and strings at the rhino. I don't, yeah, a good pie is calling me, TP. You're absolutely right about that. Um, my daughter asked me, she's going with her mom this afternoon at three o'clock, and she asked me to wait to go to good pie with her tomorrow. So she said, can we go good pie tomorrow? Like, yeah, so I'll have wings today, good pie tomorrow. Um, good pie after the show? Tomorrow, I think, yeah. Done. I think, I think we're going to do it I'll meet do you tomorrow. there. I okay. can't go today. Tomorrow. Okay. I can't go tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Good yeah. pie. Tomorrow for lunch. I've been so waiting all week to eat pizza. I was going to have it tonight to watch the hockey game or go to the basketball game. I'm going to wait and have pizza with you and little P. Thank That's you. Right. So we'll do that tomorrow. Um, but it's something if you are, it's a lifestyle. So it's not really like a workout. Everyone like it's on a diet. It's, you know, I, I look right now. You froze. Stop talking right at the crescendo of ending the show. You froze. <laughs> Hold on. Don't say a word. Snap your fingers. No, I'm back. You're back. Um, I, the hard 75, I think I was in better shape than I am today, but I'm stronger today than I was after the hard 75 because yes. I did a lot more weight work this time around with the yes. weighted vest, uh, the rucking. So I'm just, I, I feel physically stronger than I did after the last time I ran a lot during the hard 75. So I was down, I weighed 211 this morning. I, I think I weighed uh, 202 at the end of the hard 75. So I was 10 pounds lighter. And like, I, so I don't, I don't know if I like myself that light, but I like myself right now, just from a muscle mass perspective. It's, it's a lot of fun. So you feel ready, good. Jake Paul. Boy, nah, getting in shape. Nah, I, nah. I'm in shape now. I, I'm hey, in shape. I, hey, I, hey. I, I, I'm in at, at 40. Oh, a, a friend of mine sent me, sent me, sent me, he goes, how the fuck do you look like that guy at 47? Yeah. And, and I said, well, it's a lot of hard work. It's hard a lot work. of sacrifice. It's hard a lot work. of doing shit that when other people aren't, you're, hard you're work. working um hard work it's life you know it's 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 a it's it's a lifestyle versus you know it's a mental clarity yes. thing yesterday it was <laughs> rhinos on the rhinos on the table of Maddie's i was gonna mom. say i was gonna say <laughs> yesterday we talked about you i, I rewatched the clip 10 times it was so good the rhino you call the post-divorce trip oh yeah uh, 12 that was fun. hours there yep and then it was time to get living Yep. You, you know, you got two choices, like they said in Shawshank. You got two choices, get busy living or get busy dying. You got busy living. You've been working. You've been doing it. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I did people. it pretty – I mean, I, pre, I did it before Listen. the divorce. I mean, I found David Goggins at 40. Um, Michael Easter is my new guy that I'm obsessed with. He taught at UNLV. I was going back and forth with him this morning, actually, yep. on Instagram. Um, he, he He's my new guru, if you will, just people that – Goggins was about working out. Easter is more about your mind right. in, in your brain, but it's, you know, it, I, th I think one of the, one of the best things I uncovered dur during my divorce was that if you're going to put toxic things into your life, into your body, that it causes things to happen that you're not really even aware of until you get rid of them. Like you can eat like shit. You can drink, you drink like shit, but the, but the toxic things that are around you, it takes a toll on you and you start to really have mental and, and physical health problems because of the toxic natures that you're in, the toxic things Correct. that are around you. I didn't really understand that. I didn't really get that until I turned 40 and started to improve myself. And I, and as, as I was improving myself, certain people who were around me started to not like that and started to say, stop. And I was like, I'm making myself healthier, better and telling me to stop that's a problem. <laughs> and so like I started to recognize, you know, my circle got smaller and I started to trust, let, I trust less people and, you know, oh. want in realizing like, you know, the best line I heard was always like, look at your circle and the people who are around you don't inspire you. You don't have a circle. You have a cage. And I was like, yes, <laughs> like, that's, that shit on a t-shirt. Yeah, it's like, I love that line. It, it's so, it's Perfect. so true about like, talking to you every day and talking to other people in my life that every, every day that like, I want to be around people that fucking make me go. Yes, let's go. And, like, let's, go. let's do something. Let's, go. let's live life. Let's accomplish something. Let's build something. Let's yep. go and do something that we can look back upon and be like, that was really fucking hard, but look what we did. Look yep. what, look, look what we did. Look what we were able to accomplish by going through 
as you always call the Annie Dufresne pipe, <laughs> you know, and we got out to the other side. Going through the shit pipe, baby. So, you know, yep. th- that I think is the most important thing about, about all of it. And yeah, it's, 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 it's a, you know, look around in your life. When you're single, you renew, you do. But I, I don't think becoming single, like I've told Dave this, like off the air, when we've talked about stuff and people have asked me like, you know, why haven't I've been divorced now for over a year and they're like, you haven't dated anybody. I'm like, no, I'm like, cause being single wasn't the idea of getting the divorce had nothing to do with who I was sleeping with or who I was dating. Like it had nothing really to do with that. It had so much, some guys are like, you know, they get off, they're like a dog off the leash and they just go around and go crazy and have like right. their, and someone asked me a couple of months ago, they're like, you didn't have that like go wild moment. I was like, yeah, I went to the strip club a couple of times, but right. like, that was my, I didn't like go off and I wasn't out to four o'clock in the morning. I wasn't drinking every night. I wasn't because all that was going to do is hurt me. Like it wasn't going to help me. It was going to hurt me. So I wanted I'd to get, come and grabbed you, stopped you anyway. Right. You would have, but like uh, I, you I would have drag me, you would drag me out and be like, get the fuck out of the no, bar. But, like, we're going. Yep. Right. But going. I, I wasn't it. like that. I, you know, I wasn't mad at the world like that, where I was going to hurt me. I wanted to make myself better for my right. daughter. Like I wanted right. to live for her. And, That's and, it. So That's how do I, so whether I was dating somebody or not, it, the only, only relationship that really truly mattered to me at that moment was obviously you, but my daughter <laughs> it was like, that was, that was, I had to make sure my daughter and I were going to be good together. Yep. And so whether someone was in my life or not, you know, I've got a friend of mine here who got divorced he's through a second divorce. And like, he's having a tough time because he constantly dates women. And he's like, Oh, another one, another one, another one it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. And I'm like, how many times do I got to tell you this? It's not going to work until you fix yourself. Yeah. Like you're making the same mistakes over and over again. He's like, I know, I know. But he's like, how do you do it where you're not dating somebody? I'm like, I'm good with it. Like I'm more, I, I have more, I, I want my daughter to be right. And I'll get that right. And then I'll worry about me later. Like my needs can be pushed aside as long as right. my kid is right. And if my kid's right, the rest of it, we'll figure it out. I had a so, single girl after a divorce tell me, she had a lot of casting calls, but there were no callbacks. Why uh, she was, you know, yeah, because good line. The people that she was finding were in those bad spots, yep. and she was like, "I can't do this again. I'm not doing this again. I'm not." So she just stopped and said, "I'll fixing myself." And she started running half marathons. Wow, and, you know, doing all this crazy stuff for herself, yep. which she put aside for a long time, and. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but like your mental state is so much more important oh. than your physical state. Once you fix the mental, you can do anything physically as long as your body allows it. And when mm. you're hurt, you rest. Yeah. When you're tired, you rest. Mm. And that's the thing that I learned from having a stroke was listen to your body. When it's time, shut it down. It's good because if you don't wake up, it's over. You have one option to wake up. Once you wake up, you figure it to rest out. Yeah. And you know, we show up. The reliability of knowing that we got this show is not just for me and you. There's a lot of people that rely on this show for this. They like the picks. Again, that's great. The stories, that's good. They know they can count on this show. That's why we're doing the show, boys and girls. Thank you. Back tomorrow. Same place, same time. Hope to see you all back again. 702-570-8255. Send a text. Don't call. Don't call. Got a bunch of text messages already during the show. Really? Hat order is rolling. Yep, we're good to go. Send a text. Get your hat order in. Keep them coming. Tomorrow, we are one week away from our live shows at the Resorts World for our second ever BVB weekend. Can't wait to see you all and party with you guys all Thursday, Friday, next week. Matt Dave, back tomorrow for a Thursday's BVB.